And we are live. Welcome, everybody, to the free MOA uh, group coaching that we do every other Monday. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about updates uh, with, you know, uh, probably the biggest news uh, in this space is that Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate were released from a Romanian prison. They had been in there for several months, uh, and they came out. Uh, the only thing I can personally confirm is that Andrew has his phone because I texted him last night and he texted me back. I'm not going to say what we talked about. Uh, obviously, he's he's trying to prepare defense. He's still, you know, there's charges pending. Uh, he's on house arrest. He's not completely free. So, uh, you know, if I was his attorney, I'd tell him don't say shit to anybody on anything, especially after what happened with uh with the uh, the previously what happened with you know some of the WhatsApp stuff that happened and we have Rolo Rolo where are you at man Rolo you on here right now is your audio working Let's see here let's put Rolo spotlight him What's going on man Hey Rolo I, we, we, you're muted How about now You good yeah, Beautiful Okay beautiful cool. Hey guys hold on, hold on let me let me let me say something real quick uh can I get everybody to put a one in the chat if you have read one of Rolo's books or you watch us on Access Vegas put a one in the chat real quick Okay, awesome. So I need I need you guys I need you guys to help me with something. Ready? Is everybody ready to help me? All the guys in MOA, put your put your thumb up like this. Put put give me a thumbs up if you guys are in MOA right now. Ready? Everybody, and I need everyone to unmute themselves. Can everybody unmute themselves? I mean everybody on the call unmute themselves. Ready? Yo, yo. Beautiful. On the count of three. Ready? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rolo. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, guys. Here we go. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Listen. Oh, this motherfucker doesn't look a year past 79 years old. Give him a big round of applause. That's incredible. Rolo, unmute yourself. Sorry, I had, to, I had to mute everybody again here real quick. And every one of you are yeah, echoing like crazy. Echoing like crazy. <laughs> yeah, guys, you okay. So yeah, one guys, thing I need you guys to do is be careful guys, with your echo. Stand, stand by. Hold on. Stand by. Hold on. All right, guys. Some of you are, are some echoing. Some of you are, are echoing. What's going on here? We are. It's us. No, I don't think it's us. All right, Rolo, can you hear me okay? Unmute yourself. Yeah. Can you still hear me? Okay. I, I don't know where that echo is coming from. Somebody, somebody, guys, one of you guys is having uh, some issue there. Anyway, we just lost all of our viewers on YouTube. So thank you guys for that. It's incredible. Uh, a bunch of people just joined on. Oh, certified Tyrone coming in. All right, beautiful. All right, Rolo, do you know anything about this? So we just saw that he was released from uh, prison yesterday. What yeah. what have you what have you seen or heard or whatever? Uh, what can, we, I, what can I, we talk about? What well, are we allowed to talk about? Okay. Well, I, te I texted him uh, just a little bit before we came on just to see if I'll get any answer back from him. Maybe I'll get, if I get an answer back from him, like later on uh, in the, uh, in the show today, I'll definitely relate the relay the message here. But uh, I just, uh, I just reached out to him just said, Hey, you know, are you back home now? Just, you know, kind of just chit chat kind of thing. Cause I, uh, I know that they took their cell phones uh, back as far back as like I think January or something like that. So yeah, I, you, gotta, you got kind of got to be a little careful about that because I have yeah. I don't know yeah. if, about you, but I've got like quite the chat log with Andrew from as far back as when I was doing the uh, the Dr. Phil show and even yeah I, I, so, yeah I'm I'm I go I go back about two years with going back and forth, but there's nothing there's nothing incriminating. It's just the problem is like no. it's a function of privacy. You know, it's a function of privacy. Hey, one more yeah. thing. Hey, can we say happy birthday to Liddy Ward, guys? Happy hey. happy birthday, Liddy. Happy birthday. Hey. Hey. I actually have um, my other Babes in Toyland host, Julia, here with me, Jules. Hey, and what's Babes going on? Also a podcast fan. Love it. Sure. Love it. Oh, oh, Michael, Michael Liddy, 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 come back on in the second hour and let's talk a little bit more, okay? We'll talk a little okay. bit more. Happy birthday, Liddy. Love you, baby. All right, awesome. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Is there... Uh, the other thing is, um, so we have Access Vegas coming up next week, and there's a lot of great stuff that we want to talk about. Uh, just a lot of the socioeconomic reactions. Those are the things that have been going viral, dude. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but anytime we go over, like, again, the, the percentage of the population that's six foot three or the percentage of the population that makes over $170,000 a year in the United States, these are things that a lot of people don't grasp. And I think that it's really interesting. Also, I don't know if you saw this, Chris Williamson, uh, when Rolo, or I'm sorry, when, uh, uh, when, David Buss went on D Joe Rogan. He mentioned he's writing a book with Chris Williamson. Did you see this? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'd be interested to know what it's all about too. Did you? Did they mention any like topics or anything that they're? Supposed yeah. To be so I, there? I've been back and forward with Doctor Buss, and he says he's writing a book. Uh, it's on uh, prestige. That's what his okay. next book is on, specifically on prestige. So that should be a really interesting. I think he'll, he's probably going to look at it 
Because remember, Dr. Buss got into evolutionary psychology through homicide and then kind of morphed, pivoted over to mating. Mm -hmm. So it might be interesting if he gets into just basically uh, a discussion of status in general. Uh, and so that that that's pretty awesome. I also got in contact with Ashley Mears, the sociologist from mm -hmm. Boston University. I went to Harvard last week and obviously I saw um, uh, Jason Strauss speak. Jason Strauss, David Grutman and Noah uh, Tepperberg. Those are the three most powerful men in nightlife on the planet. Uh, Jason and Noah obviously own Tao Hakkasan Group. Uh, MSG bought Tao, Hak Tao Group and then they bought Hakkasan with that money. They're now spinning them off and selling them. They might be selling them to MGM. We don't know yet. And then Dave Grutman is the king of Miami. He owns pretty much every large <laughs> venue and probably about 25 restaurants in Miami. And so now Tao and Dave Grutman are coming together to, to start their own um, a venture in Los Angeles. They're doing one in Los Angeles and they're doing one in, in Miami. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, some really great stuff. And then of course, one of my clients is a professor at uh, uh, Harvard. He doesn't want me to say his name for obvious reasons, because he doesn't want to get canceled. Uh, but he, I went to one of his economics and sociology classes. and That was pretty fucking awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. So shout out to Tristan for setting that up. That was, that was pretty great. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get to some questions. Uh, I also, we have, other, we have a couple other announcements though, just real quick, as far as uh, go ahead, Rolo. Go this ahead. is concerned. Uh, we have Robert Kiyosaki coming up. I talked to him right after my birthday show uh, okay. yesterday. So we got Robert Kiyosaki uh, on deck. We have, and he uh, wants to come on Access Vegas, and we're oh, going to do yeah. it with 12 girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to 12 well, girls on that. You know, he, he – okay, want is one thing. <laughs> Whether his handlers will allow him to do that, that's an entirely different thing. I wouldn't. Oh, uh, yeah. I wouldn't. <laughs> However – I'd say stay the fuck away. I, stay away from Rolo and Michael. He does want to do an interview with us. Uh, I would love, love to get him on with Miguel and Charlie from Cultivate Crypto slash Dollar Cost Crypto. And then uh, and then us as well. If we can just do like a one-on-one, -on -one, I would think it would be fantastic to do that. And he'll talk about Red Pill topics with us, whether we're on there with the girls or not. I want I would really love to get him on with the girls. Uh, so we got Kiyosaki coming up. We also have um, Gary, the numbers guy. Gary Ginsburg is coming up. We're going to be doing a, uh, a uh, I guess. A he's, been, he, bro, he's been talking disrespectful, bro. Oh, he's been on man. Twitter talking well, disrespectful. You know, all I got to say. All I got to say is, uh, well, you know, bring it. I've got the uh, chess timer and we're going to have a, a real formal debate okay. for this so, one. So for those for those of you who don't know, I have a background in astronomy. And one of the things that I really have a problem with is when people, conflate, <laughs> when people conflate astronomy and astrology. That is very bothersome to me. One of the issues that we have, especially in the United States, is that we have a very scientifically illiterate culture. And part of the reason why is because you can ask people about their sun signs and what, what you know whatever their zodiac sign is. But if you ask them the four fundamental forces in the universe, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetism, and gravity, they have no concept of who they are or who Johannes Kepler is or James Clark Maxwell or um, Albert Einstein. They don't but understand Mike, any they know what the law of attraction is. They know they, what yeah, the exactly. secret is. That's the, all you like, got to like, know. Like, like I said before, when they were talking about a war against the United States, no country militarily can stand up to the United States. The war <laughs> against the United States is the secret. The war against the United States is the five love languages. The war against the United States is 50 shades of gray. The war of the mm -hmm. love language, it's, it's idiocracy like that. That's yeah, the war Mars, against the United women States. Women are from Venus. Yes. Are, women are from, exactly. Stuff like that is, is that's the war against the United States where we take things that are not based in science or not have any evidence evidentiary basis whatsoever and then we push those those agendas forward i have opinions when i have opinions i express them as opinions when i express something to be uh what i believe to be uh evidence-based like for instance the concept of the idea that 80 percent of men on social media or dating apps are, are deemed to be unattractive that's not my opinion right that's something that we see mm -hmm. empirically and we can also see the data for a, a set know, a, a, I, I tell you it's funny is people need and this is like maybe something we should talk about at some point when we're talking about data you have to understand mm -hmm. the difference between a qualitative study and a quantitative study you mm -hmm. just you just made that distinction right there quantitative yeah. studies are numbers that's hard data that's like here's what it is this is what we can see factually right there in front of us qualitative studies qualitative data is what people are relating as a self-report what uh what people feel like is the truth or what we've taken a sample size and this is what people have said kind of that's quality over quantity and too many people do not know the distinction between those two types of studies yeah i mean but the, i mean the main the main issue is rollo is that there's a study and but i don't feel like that study is real therefore my feelings outweigh yeah. objective fact right. generally as generally as average men we grow up and if we if we want to buy a lamborghini we can't because our bank account tells us no if we talk if we go up and talk to a girl who's very pretty and she's not interested in us she tells us no the world consistently tells average men no 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 and so because of that, we, we're sort of chiseled and shaped to understand, to have a very clear understanding 
of what our actual value is. If you were a kid who was drafted into the NBA at 18 and everyone knew you were going to be great, like say LeBron James, his high school experience would be very different than say my high school experience, or you're a very attractive woman, then what's going to happen is a lot often the world isn't going to tell you no. And so what happens is there may be uh, sort of a, a misunderstanding. It's almost like the free agency thing. Uh, you see this is sort mm -hmm. of happening with Lamar Jackson, the, the situation with him where he went into free agency, he expected a certain amount of money, and it turns out that's not what the market wanted to give him because there was a difference between what all of his people close to him were telling him he was worth and then what he actually ended up being worth. This happened with but, a lot of running my, backs my, and tight ends I in the feel, NFL. I feel like I should be driving a Lamborghini. Exactly. I feel exactly. like that ought to happen. I feel like the universe, yeah. if I just put an out enough positive juju into the universe, that Lamborghini will just show up in my driveway. Yeah, that's exactly. Not how, that's not how it works. That's not that's him. what we can that's what we can hope for. That's what we <laughs> Anyways, can hope for. So we have we got Gary the numbers guy, Gary Ginsburg's coming in on the 26th. The 27th, we have another access Vegas coming up. Wait, wait, let, let's make sure. Hold on, I want to make sure. Gary said he's going to destroy us. Yes. He's coming on there to talk about astrology and no, numerology. No, no. I'm sorry, no, no, he's going to destroy you. I'm just there to facilitate. Oh, he's going to destroy me. <laughs> so, so just just going back to what I said. Obviously, astrology is complete and utter nonsense. There's no truth to it whatsoever, like not even one percent. There is mm -hmm. no, what you could do is easily create a study where you looked and see, are uh, Libras on average more outgoing or are, are Geminis more, uh, more likely to be dualistic minded or suffer from bipolar disorder? Mm -hmm. Are Tauruses more likely to be assertive or have a higher testosterone levels? Any correlation. But the thing is the correlation between the individual Zodiac signs, people born, born during those periods and the correlation between, in, between, cor uh, between Zodiac signs is... Zero. It's provably zero. There have been dozens of studies to show that it's zero. It's fun if you guys want to believe in zodiac signs just to be part of a group. That's totally fine. But just understand, it's not real. When I watch the WWF, or if I, you know, I don't think it's when I watch The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, it's fun to watch, but I know it's not real. When I watch John Wick 4, it's fun to watch. It's entertaining, but I know it's not real. The problem with astrology is that you, people you think it's real. You can separate fantasy from reality. Correct. <laughs> uh, I was also going to say, are you familiar with, and I, I hope I'm saying this right, I'm getting this right, but it's called the forer effect. Do you know what the forer effect is? I don't know what the forer effect is. Okay, no. so the forer effect is this, is that when you tell, uh, they did these, uh, they've done studies, qualitative and quantitative studies, um, about uh, astrology. Uh, I, I got into this because of M MBTI, which is basically astrology or astrology for the modern age and the work American workforce right now. It's it's supposed to be based on like Jungian psychology and and um, and the uh, the big five personality traits. When in fact, it's really there's really not much to it's really basically junk science. But we still have like standardized on it. But uh, the reason I started looking into this is because there's an effect. It's called the a four effect, and what it is is like if you tell somebody that something positive about them, themselves they're more likely to believe like hokum they're most more likely to believe yeah, like astrology exactly right. yes. or bullshit whatever and, and you'll yeah. notice that, like whenever you go and you look at uh like mbti which is like you know the the, the personality types and stuff like that or enneagrams or or astrology or anything that's kind of like superstitious but it has to do with the personality yeah that, the you'll notice that it never says like well you know you were born a uh, capricorn and that means you're an asshole <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A, but but that here's the hold really on let's talk about hold on let's that talk about mbti like that union mm -hmm. uh personality test thing that they gave me when i was at business school at ut austin that turns out to be hokum as well there mm -hmm. there is no there is nothing to that that's not real See, other than work with you <laughs> yeah other other than other than the concept of introversion and extroversion which those things are true just like the majority of the population would be considered more extroverted than introverted the reality of the situation is um mm -hmm. And by the way, that number is rising as far as introverts are concerned. Mm -hmm. But the but the the fact of the matter is that other than that, none of it's scientific. And really, the thinking feeling one is just crazy to me. Like that somebody would be like that. You, I promise you, is, you get those you get those archetypes. You're an INTJ or something like that. Yeah. And the way that it, it none of those none of those letters that correspond with whatever the archetypes are, whatever that shit, none of them say you're a dick. You're an asshole. There's right. like something wrong with yeah, you. Yeah, because they're not they're, they're not moralistic judgments. And so yeah. it's always something you can sort of align yourself with. And it's like, oh, uh, take this take this test to see if you're an artistic person, right? And then it's like, da -da, you, you take a few questions, and at the end of it, it says you're an artistic soul. And you're like, oh, yeah, oh, I am. Yeah, uh, Fasado, Fasado, your question, 
That's the Masato, yes, effect. that's correct. We're talking about Myers Briggs. There is no Myers. science behind Myers Briggs. Yes. yes. Myers Briggs is not, it's not proven to be, it's not spelled out Big or, or five proven personality to be. traits are definitely something that have merit, but the MBTI Myers Briggs. Yeah. It it's not, it's not uh, accurate. All right. So, uh, Hey man, I want to, let me just finish ahead, now, just, right, just right quick. Uh, the 27th, we are going to be doing access Vegas. Once again, uh, I don't know who our guests are going to be, but we're also going to have Chrissy Mayer in that week. I don't know if you know her, but she is a, uh, I guess a conservative like stand up uh, comedian. And, uh, she's also going to be doing her show, which is called uh, Friday night tights, which will be on Friday. It's, they have a sort of an affiliate with Nerdrotic, which is a really big channel. So they're going to be in sticky paws on that Friday on the 28th. I'm hoping to get her on our show or have some sort of interview with her somewhere between like, say the 25th and the 28th. So we're going to be doing something with Chrissy, uh, Chrissy Mayer. Um, she's also a friend with John's John Orlando as well. Who's the owner of sticky paws. So we're going to be uh, doing something with her during that, during that period. And um, we have, we have some other guests that are kind of unconfirmed just yet. So I don't want to give away that. I don't want to throw the baby out there with the bathwater just yet, but we do have Chrissy Mayer uh, uh, confirmed as well. Awesome. Okay. So uh, Rola, I, I've changed my mind. I want to go in a different order today. All right, so uh, we, we, we have a special guest and I listen, I got to give him, I got to give him some, uh, some, I got to give him actually some credit for coming on here like this. We yep. have primal status elevated. Obviously he's made several hit pieces on you and me. Uh, it's, it's yes. uh, found, him, found him to be pre pretty hilarious. Actually. I just let Thank you know, you. I show at, every one of your videos about me. I show to all of my clients immediately afterwards. Uh, 100 so anyway, billion you, percent. Yeah. So anyway, Thank you. Go ahead. So, so did you, you said you had some questions for us. So, so uh, go ahead. Not really. I didn't come here to have specific questions, but we had some altercations and I believe that people will understand much more as I speak, but uh, someone or people from my comment section, which is still small, but still winning because, <laughs> you know, I am here with even less than 200 followers, but what's going on is that People from my comment section were saying, oh, uh, that you said, Michael Sartain, that you'll get on anybody's podcast. So get him on your live stream. And they were speaking all kinds of stuff. And me, I'm a yes man person, which means I say yes to everything. I go for whatever is in life. And I thought I want to present a different perspective, which is this. I spent around 20 years as a student of uh, status. I understood very clearly from the very beginning that there is something going on and I developed my ability or study or whatever it is to understand those pieces behind the matrix, which is what I'm doing right now. What is so wait, you do you do think that there is a matrix? That's not exactly you do think... like that. This is a metaphor. Okay. Now we're speaking metaphor. A metaphor. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, agree, I agree that it's a metaphor. Yeah. Okay. And people were telling me, oh, my God, you're helping people unplug for the matrix or whatever. And I was telling them, look, what many, let's say the gurus or uh, anything like that, what they are doing is something very beautiful, <laughs> which is creating a tribe. And uh, let me, for example, speak about MOA, men of action. If anybody is doing MOA, and in many ways, I say there was an AMA that people ask me anything, and they asked me about you, and I said, what you're doing is superior, for example, to cold approach. But what I was telling them even deeper is that, let's say you do everything like the events that uh, you're speaking about, which I agree with, there is a higher level where people can come to your events and then leave, and they don't feel that they know you or anything like that. So what I am presenting is a framework, an idea that I can share as well, which allows you to tell people, I am building a tribe. I'm going to be that tribe leader. It's exciting. Come join my tribe. And for example, attacking you both, which was uh, something that shows that you're worth attacking, which is uh, first a sign of respect if there is anything. It is something that is very good because it creates polarization. And therefore, the people within your tribe who are maybes are forced to choose. Do I protect my leader or am I maybe who is not, you know, good enough or worthy or interested enough to stay there and to join the new tribe? And thank you very much. Uh, the girl who was with you, she commented as well on my comment section. And I told her, thank you for your comment. So just to share a bit more about me and thank you everyone is, is joining here what uh, just keep going I'm, no there's a, there, I, I, I actually have i actually before i even go rollo i yeah. have some client i have some guys that are in my way that i want to ask uh, primal some questions so just keep going whenever yes. you're whenever you're ready man 
okay, you froze a little bit, but okay. I will explain it and give me time. You said you promised me, you said, oh, I'll give you all the time uh, to mm -hmm. talk and to present and everything. So I'll do three things. The third thing is uh, to talk about all our uh, altercations, et cetera, and the confrontations. Well, they, they, they weren't altercations. I get people make hit pieces about me every week. I, it really wasn't I don't feel they were hit pieces because um, I, they, I'll so, explain so, everything. Hold on. But hold on, before, before we go on, you did yes. say that I was using something akin to Stockholm syndrome at some point. Yes, yes. You did on, on, on many, so that would be a hit piece. In fact, that's borderline defamation. There are several cases dur during your thing where you say that I'm manipulating people or someone is yes. begging for their life. The problem is this, okay? Uh, we can, yes, that, by the way, you're, you're, entitled, you're entitled to your opinion. That's fine. Yes, of the course. The problem is this. When I have like 500, you know, satisfied clients, one of the issues yes. is at some point, where is the, the end of manipulation? And at what point are we actually just like learning a skill set? Because one of the problems is if anything, I, there, there's, I'm not even exaggerating. If you guys want to go back, look, yes. I think you made a video recently. Sorry, this is my new rescue. Um, when, when you made a video where I literally put my hand up in the air, you stopped the video and you said, do you see what he's doing there? It was a 52 minute video. And me and my friends were watching it and we fell over laughing. Dude, everything that you do that gets people to buy your product or join your tribe isn't manipulation. But that's, that's the issue because, and the other problem is when you say primal status elevated, one of the things you don't really provide, and by the way, it's just a friendly piece of advice. One of the things you don't provide is any way for anyone to elevate their primal status at all, because what you're doing is very similar to what the fat kid in Brazil does, which by the way, I don't even know if you've done a video on him. He's the one you should be doing the videos on. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know who he is at all. Okay, like, well, well I'll, I'll text you later, but I'll text you later. But like, lucky. Shock, shockingly, like if you were going to start a channel based on like doing hit pieces, like that, it, he's who I would start with. The problem is when you do that and then everyone goes to my Instagram and then they're like, wait a second, but the things he's saying, like I, I remember one time, I mentioned that I had 500 clients. And then you said, do you see what he's doing here? He's trying to get you to see and blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, wait a second, but I really do have 500 clients. At some I point, it's the truth. Okay. Yeah, but at some point, okay. it's the truth. You see what I'm Perfect. saying? Perfect. Perfect. Let's talk about it. Thank you for everything and for giving me the time as well. I graciously appreciate it. So let me share, and then you will understand everything. Because I had an interview on someone else's channel, and I explained... Okay, there is a lot to explain. Uh, what I am saying is one of the definitions of manipulation is handling skillfully. And therefore, similar to Rollo, his archetype is the magician, but he's balancing it with the opposite archetype, which is the outlaw, which is like having a bad boy or a fuck boy professor or whatever it is, which keeps people interested. I am a magician and therefore I need to, in many ways, balance it with the outlaw, which is the uh, archetype of attacking and, and doing things like that. So in the titles and in the outside, I'm attacking, but I'm providing real value within that. In your specific videos, Michael Sartain, I do, did not, but more and more recently, and I can explain the whole framework. So I'll, I'll just very briefly explain what's going on. There are ingredients, let's say, within the human psychology that the more you put of them, the more you have a delicious meal of high status that that person is presenting. And these ingredients, if you think about the past, present, and the future, in the past, it's your odyssey story. And uh, that uh, story has narratives where it's whether it's the Bodhisattva, me personally, I'm Robin Hood, so I'm attacking the rich in order to give to the poor. You can be King Arthur. There are archetypes like that. And in the middle, you have imagine. Hey, hey Ross, so sorry to cut you off, but that's not scientific. There's no science behind that. I agree. And I was going to say, just give me a few minutes. Okay. I'm supposed okay. to sorry. say. Uh, can, I, can, I, can I just ask one <laughs> question yeah. before you yeah. Please roll a go. Where, where are you getting the archetypes from? Where is this from? Like, well, like okay, you, I understand. I'm Robin but, uh, Hood, no, I'm, that, uh, that's a trick. I'm the pirate. Uh, I'm the. Well, it's like it's like the. It's not. That's people, not right? the same thing. That I'm. Uh, le let me please finish, uh, Rollo. Where, where, and then where, after where, where is it coming from, though? That's just, I'm just because like, where, we're where not speaking about the same thing. Because your philosophy, which is I was gonna speak about, that you need the philosophy. Yeah, but where do you there are the names, archetypes of power? Is it, is it? Is it? Um. Is it like magician professor? Or, uh, what is it though? No, the, it's not KWML, which is King Warrior. Which one is it though? That's just what I want to know. It's like. What, what book is this from? 
it's it not from a specific book. Robert I'm trying to explain. This is metaphorical. I'm giving you a metaphor that explains a reality in no, different ways. It just ways. sounds familiar to me. That's just why I'm. I'm, the, that, I'm yeah, not I'm using things thing because it's supposed it to sound familiar, to familiar. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's supposed to so that people can get it. Otherwise, I'm well, not trying to. Like your, yes. your whole, this is like your your terminology, right? Yes, but I okay. show how it is happening within whatever people are doing. So in many ways, um, what I'm speaking about, and I say, for you to be a living legend or someone who becomes elite or uh, become similar to Michael Sartain or to Rollo Tomasi, uh, who is not even paying attention to me right now, I love that. So that's how right, you take I'm, a win. I'm taking, I'm, no, I'm, I'm paying a lot of fucking attention. I love that. Okay, now, let's begin. I'm let's begin. I love that. I'm doing let's go. That, that, let's go. So that let's should, go. That let's should have flatter fun. you right there. So continue. thank you. Thank you. I'm flattered. I'm super flattered. So, okay. The past and the present and the future, because within tribes, what is the difference between someone within your tribe and outside your tribe? You have seen their previous, like their past, you are with them in the present, and you have some kind of shared future together. And therefore, I divided it into past, present, and future. The most important one is the present. And what is the present? It is showing that you are a complete individual who has within them developed all whatever you think about Carl Jung or whoever. Promo, you promo, I'm going to have to give you about 20 more seconds, man. Like uh, the, the guys in the chat are all completely lost about what you're talking about. So one of the things, man, as far Thank as you. like uh, as far as showing status is I need to be able to say the thing yeah. quickly in two sentences. And I know, I know, I remember the video, the thing with Anton where you said that I was bullying yes. him. I wasn't bullying him. If he went to a sponsor and had a 15 paragraph explanation for his business, the guy was going to kick him out in two sentences. Can you explain what you're talking about? Because brother, I got to be honest with you. Sure. It doesn't I'll feel like what sentences. you're saying. It doesn't well, feel feeling, like what you're saying. Feeling is not scientific. <laughs> right, but it's not, you know it's not I mean, scientific. Yeah, but, but all, yeah, you, all you did, you were just saying earlier that, but now we're all changing, you you're making pick. this a discussion. I, I, I want to, as you promised me when you sent the email, yeah. you can said, you said you can have as much time as you want. I will summarize it very well. Nowadays, okay. we live in a time where we're not dealing with people in real life and therefore status can be manufactured because people are behind cameras. And there are ways that people manufacture status in order to be the leaders of tribes and they build the tribe based on shared values, which is the philosophy and outsiders. And as long as you have outsiders, there is enemies and therefore the warrior leader of the tribe is needed. Yeah, bro, you, and you had two sentences. That's again, it. let's do it again. Let's do it again. You did, you, you're doing this. No, that's it. I'm done. Like, no, 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 no. Okay, okay cool. Yeah, I know what you're doing right there. They're, I stop. I I'm not, I'm not I like, finished. look in the chat, bro. They're literally saying, wrap it up. Like everyone in the chat is saying this. Let's no wrap one's it manipulating up. We're done. You. We're done. Okay, yes, cool. We're cool. finished. Beautiful. So everything Beautiful. is good. The, the, the issue, the issue is man, like, so the thing with Rollo and I is we, we I yes. try to express as few opinions as possible and base everything yes. I'm saying on the works of Leah Cosmides, David Buss, Cindy Meston, Stephen Stewart Williams, Joffrey Wilson, okay. Steven Pinker, and Gad Sat. In two Stephen sentences, one. in two sentences, I will answer that. If you look at the philosophy of science and especially in physics, we live in a world where it's kind of proven that we live in a multiverse and therefore anything scientific it, it is not it has about, not been proven it has not it has been, not been proven, proven that we've it not been proven that okay, we it's, proven. it's, it's that's, theorized that's a as a multiverse that is, a, that is, that is, theor that is theoretical physics. Everything is theorized in that way because I believe in pragmatism, not specifically in what you do, and therefore there is a clash of beliefs right there. If you divide whatever is happening by the infinite possibilities of the universe, it becomes so insignificant that you cannot draw any conclusion. And therefore, even scientists know about science that it's a temporary placeholder for our understanding of reality until something better comes. And therefore, that's my belief and my answer. I love it. Awesome. And I know okay. you're doing I, that. Oh, I love no, that. Listen, listen. You're doing exactly what I said. Yeah, but you, about. but you, so but you. you think you, you think you think <laughs> we're, no, we're not manipulating anyone, bro. Like at some point, if I everyone said manipulation agrees... means to handle skillfully, and therefore yeah, but, I think but, you changed the whole debate. I was gonna explain like the whole theory, but let's play this game. It's okay, fun. so so it's not, it's not a game, bro. Like I am a, I'm a performance coach. No, no. Here's the problem. I'm a performance coach. If I take guys who are not performing and then they take my course and then they're performing. I'm not manipulating. I'm persuading, number one. And number two, what I'm saying is the truth. It's almost like saying Isaac Newton manipulated everyone into thinking he was okay. a genius when he wrote Principia. My, he didn't manipulate anyone. Me, 
okay, the thing that makes me not believe that 100% is the Pareto principle, that in any population, only 20% of people will excel. So if you're saying 100% or 80% of my people are so amazing my and guys. getting results, my yes, guys. your guys, yes. yes. It will make me okay. not believe that that is true because it's it's probabilistically impossible. That's it. Like it's within any pro population, you'll find that 20% of people are excellent and uh, most others are average to below average. So uh, in results, I, that's what I mean specifically. And thank you. You're making it very exciting right now. And someone is raising his hand. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. First off, I'm going to let Tr Tristan and Raj have been like, seriously, like waiting forever to talk to you. Yeah, so I'm going to let them go first. Wrote comments on my uh, yeah, yes, thing. Yes, for sure. Yeah, so. so I'm, I'm actually going to pull, uh, I'm actually going to get off. Okay. Now I'm not going to get off. I'm still, you guys can still hear me. Tristan, yes. Raj, go ahead. What questions do you guys have for Primal? Ask me everything you want. Okay. So when it comes to the Pareto principle, scientifically, yes. that has to do with a representative random sample of the entire population. So when you took the Pareto principle and applied it to 500 people, it's actually invalidated. So the idea, now, whether it's by chance or not, I'll give you that, but whether it's by chance or not, it's not by definition only 20% of clients would succeed because that's not actually statistically uh, viable at all. So but thank, here's you my for, my thank you, thank you for that. I will answer it very quickly. What yeah. is the chance that 100% or 90% or whatever it is we, of we, any we population you, you, to be? You, you, said, you said 100% or 90%. No one said that. You, okay. you said that. Then is, uh, is Michael Sartain saying uh, a small percentage or less than 50% of my people get amazing no, results? No. So, so what, what happens is there's results that they look for, and these are different types of results. So for instance, I have accountants that don't want to host a bikini competition, and I have club promoters that don't want to host an accounting convention. The results are different and varied for each person. For some of them, it's a divorced guy who for the first time in, for, in forever, he's finally able to just go out and meet people. Like the, 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 the litmus for each individual person is different. But the problem is, it's like you saying that 20% of people succeed. No, 20% of people, hold on, who graduate from Harvard don't succeed. It's more than 20%. There are exceptions to what you're doing. And the reason why those exceptions exist is, for instance, I'll give you another example. One Almost 100% of biologists believe in evolution and Darwin's theory of natural selection. It's not a 20% thing. For so, in some cases, you have logarithmic returns where you have a large number of people who do it. What I teach, it's almost like one of these things. If I tell you to go to the gym and I tell you to diet and I tell you to lift a certain amount of weight and you do it every day, it's not 20% of you that will re receive results. Unless you have some sort of like motor neuron disorder or you have some wasting disorder, you're going to gain muscle. So in the, in my program, because this is something you pr probably don't understand in my program, in order to make it past the first step, you have to take action. That's why it's Wait, called the men Mike, of Mike, action Mike, can course. I ask, can I ask the question? 100%. Though, like, let me just, uh, just say something. I believe in okay. chaos theory. What it means is action by definition, there will be randomness within the results and some people will get results early, others will get it later, whatever it is, which can take year, years. And therefore I don't believe in anything that is not like role will call praxeology or whatever. There is nothing that you can tell me, like in my experience of reality taking action in it, it, it goes like this and then you get spikes what that helps you to go to the next level and then you go at a plateau and then you spike etc and therefore it's not something that will work in that way there will be too many people on a on a, that need to take action without seeing any results for a long 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 time before a small su spike that gives them hope in order to to go to the next level etc which is very similar to george leonard's mastery book concept since rollo's taking notes he can take notes on that and thank you uh, you had a question tristan all right yeah so so primal i have a question for you like I, yes. after watching your videos and I understand you, like the critiques, everything like that. I, I want to be completely objective here. I, I genuinely want your perspective on this. So I have a question. Sure. So my question to you is obviously like put MOA aside, take like any businesses, yes, yes. any marketing yes. strategies, anything like that, right? Yes. There are products that are good. There's products that are bad. There are products sure. that over promise all of that. We can agree, right? Yes. Okay. So my question to you is where in, in your mind is the fine line between persuasion and manipulation because my Perfect. question is thank you wait, for wait, this. I, wait, wait, wait let me finish yes, right yes. Let me finish. for example right let's say um 
a, a personal trainer, right? He's helped 300, like he has testimonials. He's helped 300 guys lose a certain number of pounds, hypothetically, right? Yes. yes, you could say by using that, he's manipulating for quitting. He wants you to get to buy his product, but he also helped 300 guys lose it. So where's the fine line? I want to hear your perspective on that. Sure. I will explain it very well. I am reclaiming the definition of manipulation. And I say that inside the videos to mean to handle skillfully rather than to deceive. And therefore, to me, persuasion and manipulation would be the same thing because I'm originally a nice guy. So I'm going all the extremes to not have any ethical uh, things that powerful people could put on us in order to not do what works. Because I believe that when you speak to the primal brain of people, that's when they listen to advice. But any other way, they'll be like, yes, yes. And they will not do it and that's why many people let's say about uh, porn or eating or whatever they will know what not to do and still be addicted to it because their primal brain or lizard brain is not working on that and i know rollo will write a triune brain theory is not confirmed and blah 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 <laughs> and uh, i 100 percent agree with you 100 percent okay. i agree with you so what yeah. i am saying is i am saying look the the problem that I would have, and I don't have it with Michael Sartain or Rollo, it's what other people that I speak about, they will yeah. include beliefs to keep you as a customer for life when change the definition of getting results to, oh, if you want results, it means uh, you, you have, you're like, if you ask a question where you, you want results, it means you're not ready to receive the results. And that's why you should keep paying us money and keep getting our coaching. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm muting everybody. Number one, bro, we give you back your money if you don't get results. Where is a 100% money back guarantee on my program? That's the first thing. The second thing, the second thing I want to bring uh, bring up to you is like, at what point when people keep saying it works, is it no longer manipulation? That's what Tristan is trying to ask you. And you keep saying, well, we're trying to keep you. Like, listen, we deny people from this program all the time. If you think that you're a special snowflake, if you're not willing to work, or if you go set, we had one guy, he went like 10 months and didn't fix his Instagram. We just kicked him out of the fucking program, dude. I kicked one guy out because he was literally working with the Russian Federation in the invasion of Ukraine. I literally, I, dude, I would kick people out for whatever. So that's not accurate. Here's the problem, dude. You have all, everyone who's watching this has access to me. If you want to message me and ask me questions, you can. You could have gone through and I would have given you probably my entire list. It would have been weird because obviously I don't know if you're a coach. I can't give you my entire list, but I'll give you a, a good number of people on my list and you can ask each one of them. Like there's so many guys on this call right now that will tell you I did what Michael said and it worked. So at some point, like at some point it isn't manipulation. I don't know, like bro, it, I'm not, I don't need you to reframe this. Just consider this hypothesis that maybe Maybe when Galileo says the earth goes around the sun, he's not trying to reframe the fucking Pope. He's just telling the fucking truth. Maybe that's all that it is, man. That's it. And that's the, that's the problem. It's like, uh, and then you're going to say, well, thank you. And then Rolo does this and triune brain theory. By the way, triune brain theory is a fantastic metaphor. It's not true. It's not like actual scientific fact. It is a good metaphor, though. It has to do with the different evolutionary periods of different parts of the brain, but it's not real. So that's one of the things that that is just so crazy, man. It's like when, when we, we have thank these you, discussions. But science does not deal with facts. No scientist will say this is proven or this is fact. What? This is like, no, really. Go read any scientific paper. They never say that. I have a master's of science, like literally. Yeah, yeah. it's not even a joke. You deal with 95% confidence intervals that this, uh, whatever is, is explaining the data in this way. Uh, in do, many do, ways. Hold on, wait, wait. Fact, you, do you know what means? Who says a fact is a scientist? Nobody who uses the word fact is a scientist. It doesn't exist. You're, you're confusing, you're confusing everyone. When Johannes I'm not Kepler, confused. I'm telling the truth. And no, I'm bro, the truth you're teller not, you're, now. You're, you're, now you're I'm, I'm uh, Galileo. Yo, when, when, you, when, when, Yoh <laughs> when Johannes Kepler was was wrote down his his laws of planetary motion his observations Isaac Newton then made in Principia a, a, a he wrote down an equation for gravity and NASA uses that same thing today that is a right for it fact fact it is a fact that gravity will operate in that way in in low uh, gravitational environments so the there data, are yes, actual but the explanation assailable or the theory is not a fact I mean. Um, check Feynman's. He has like on YouTube uh, a whole. Well, you're making our brains melt right. here, bro. You're telling me facts aren't real. Yes, I, because I'm I telling understand. you to, stuff too advanced. I love no, no, this. this is so, it's, not, it's, not, it's <laughs> oh too advanced, God, bro. It's like now it's I now I understand. Now I understand where the disconnect is between us. 
We live yeah. in reality, and you you believe no, no, that no, no, your no. interpretation. Don't you, no, don't, no. you don't it's, live it's in reality. Not, it's, that's Got not it. at all. I love that reframe that you're doing, but no, don't go there. This is not the play. What I'm telling people is not that at all. I'm saying, look, when people do specific things that elevate their status, it makes them attached to that person and their tribe leader and love them. And therefore, when, whatever that person says, it will become the truth that the tribe accepts. I'm saying, don't yeah, do bro, that. Yeah, bro, but like, there's no science behind that. There is no it's, science behind this no no that is bullshit they're doing it that i'm showing so you the action i'm being the scientist i am being the person no, i, I can't the scientist I can't. because you're I not do. going over the scientific results that would prove something no, like that no why, why that you're I'm showing clearly you an using analogy like, and okay action. okay when you observe animals or even evolutionary psychology that's not co even considered high si ha hard science or even science at all no evolutionary like, psychology is considered a hard science psychology is not whom? considered our science by by, by everybody, but by, by you by, and the, the people. It's by like saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Scientists hold on. who look at falsifiable yes, observations. Yes, but because there's no, the fact that it it's falsifiable doesn't mean it will never be falsified. You know what no, I mean? No, like, no, 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 no. But the fact that's 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 we're going to stop, dude, because I'm not going to let you interrupt me again. When the fact, the fact of the matter is, in evolutionary psychology, there are falsifiable data that you can test. In psychology, there isn't. That's why evolutionary psychology, whenever you do the the 37 culture study and things like that, those are, that is falsifiable data. That is a hard science. Now, granted, yes, but is, the it doctor, is it Dr. Is Buss? Not. The interpretation is not. That's what I mean. The interpretation is a temporary hold, a placeholder for the thing. I don't, I, I, like, I'm not arguing with the data. I'm arguing with the interpretation. I remember Rollo, it's one of the criticisms that I say about him. He says, oh, this is a praxeology, but, oh, there is a difference between data and interpretation of the data, and I'm giving you the interpretation, which by definition makes it an ideology. And like, uh, there is some stuff that we're talking about in this way. No, bro, but I'm you're not, not getting it's not about you giving an interpretation. It's like you're saying, hey, when people do this, they get attached to the tribal leader, and this is a fact, and this is what this happens. It's a that is not true. No, it's not true. That's my point. It's not true. Is wrong. Your, your inter interpretation, your incorrect. observation of this thing is wrong in evolutionary psychology. How? Now, Prove some it. of it like, is since true. You're speaking about very, very good. Great, great, great. No, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Okay. The first one, when you make the analogy of my clients experiencing Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome has a definition. We can look it up in the DSM. The, the, the symptoms for Stockholm syndrome do not match what is happening to my clients. Therefore, what you're saying is unassailably incorrect. That's not an interpretation. No, it's like that's appeal to authority. Just because the DSM doesn't say it, because it doesn't deal, deal yeah, with- Just because the, the, hold on, just because the DSM with, doesn't say it. That. Yes, it. so like- Got it. I it's said it as a fun, like it was a joke. The same way that when I said Anton, son, sees dude, it you was as not a daddy. joke, bro. No, no, when no, I said Anton primal, sees you as primal. his daddy. No, I laughed when I said that. Pri I laughed. I literally now remember. you're just lying. Now no, no, I'm, I'm calling you a no, liar. The Stockholm syndrome thing is not funny a joke. To me. I find it not to be a joke. Funny. No, you didn't find it funny at the time. That was not a joke. You said it, and you're trying but to reframe. But it doesn't matter. It's true. It's the same kind of attachment when you no, get dominated. No, but it's not true, though. That's, hey, guys, that's guys, real quick, real quick. I want, like I, I, word, I'm going to call him out. I'm going to call him out. Guys, I want you to look at some of his, uh, some of the thumbnails. So he's not, yes. he's not out here bashing us. Guys, look at the yes. thumbnails. Look at the oh, thumbnails, no, guys. No, no, I'm okay? saying I am. I, I'm saying okay. why. Okay. I even like you're going it. after Alex Hermosi manipulation. Alex Hermosi has made more millionaires than money you will make in your life. And you're calling this Thank man you. a manipulator. It's I fucking insanity, like bro. Horns. I do, bro. yes. Keep, yes. keep doing the devil horns for me, though, please. I'm good with that. Keep going. <laughs> yeah, sure. They look very nice. I mean, it, it reminds me of your guitar, which goes with the Viking. So it's a Vi your Viking archetype, which I speak about. And... Uh, in many ways, so I understand. So uh, there is, it's not, now we're not arguing because it's, we're speaking about things that I cannot show you specifically. What I'm showing you is what people are doing. I'm saying, look, people are doing this because it's blah, 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 and they're doing it. So how is this wrong? You know what I mean? I don't no, mean it's, it's, like it, it's, it's wrong I'm because ahead, it's not Who's Stockholm syndrome this? and I'm not. Who, manipulating okay. You're taking people. one point and creating a whole. Like, no, no, no. Uh, because you, because you made, okay. The other ones is when I try to make someone, when I try to make Anton, like make him in lower status, I was given Anton verifiable. Like I can show you several books that will verify what I was saying was accurate at some point. Accuracy must count for something. When I consist again, what you're saying is, I'm gonna, let me finish. What, no, I know what, what, no, one more time. One, one yeah. more time. You, what you're saying is essentially 
that when when general relativity was written in 1914, the no, purpose no, no, of please that don't use was metaphors. for him. Was for, no, it's not a metaphor. A that's what you're saying. The idea no, that he I, came out and wrote that paper, he did it to manipulate not, people so that he would gain higher status. Thing. It is absurdity. When he talks about something that is true and wins the Nobel Prize for the photoelectric effect. It doesn't matter Albert just because it won the Nobel Prize doesn't mean anything. You're it doesn't mean anything. It so doesn't you, mean anything. No, no. I mean, you're against the matrix and you speak about the Nobel Prize. Like, I don't understand these. Against the matrix. No, I don't. I didn't, I'm not. I'm not. No, I like Andrew, but he's I don't believe I don't say matrix shit. I don't never talk about the matrix. OK, no problem. What I'm saying, whatever won the uh, the Nobel Prize doesn't mean there is next evolution. Doesn't matter. We're debating something totally different. No, no, no. I we're not. People, we're debating unassailable truths. When something is unassailable, there is true, no such thing as unassailable it, truth. It doesn't oh exist. Oh my that fucking god! Is bro. Invented by marketers. Okay. No, go, go, it's not scientific. Go to a real scientist. This is hilarious, bro. Unassailable. This is hilarious. Okay, hold on. No, hold on. Go to hold a on. Primal. Scientist. Did OJ kill, or did, did he? Did he, or did he not kill Nicole? It doesn't, that's a different thing. That's a justice thing. It's not They're a different talking. thing, bro. It's so crazy, bro. My brain is coming out of my fucking Primal, ears. It's either insane. he did or did he not. He did or he did not. No, no, that's, that's, black and white thinking. that's black and white thinking. Go to the DSM. You'll find that is a, a psychological issue to have black and white thinking. No, it is there not. There are many no, grades. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to let you do this again. I'm not going to, I'm muting everybody. I'm not going to let you do this again. One more time. In the DSM, there's a thing called splitting for people with borderline personality disorder. That is a symptom of a particular type of cluster B personality disorder. Order. I want to make because he says these vague things that he hasn't studied, and then he talks to people who actually know what they're talking about, and he just throws this out. I love what you're Splitting. doing. Yes, you're stop, doing what stop, I'm speaking stop, about. Stop, bro. I'm not. I'm not. I don't need you to comment until I'm done. Now, the other part about this, this is my show. I'm not trying to manipulate you. This is my show. Now, the other part about this is that when you say that binary thinking, when it comes to did OJ or kill or not kill Nicole, that is a binary answer. Are you or are you not pregnant? That is a binary answer. You can't be partially that pregnant. Specific and question, you also... no, because OJ, there is a lot of speculation whether he did it or not. Whoa, it's holy like... shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now no, no, if understand. you tell me, did Michael Jordan Ooh. win the NBA, blah, 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 I will say yes. But you're are telling you sure? me something. Are you sure? I mean, there's no, uh, there's no unassailable truths. You have disproved your own beliefs. There are assailable proofs. There are There is unassailable proof that natural selection actually did this. occur this amongst homo sapiens. Oh my God, this is great. Uh, uh, Rolo is put in the timer for the chess thing. That's great. It's a metaphor too. So now it's not it's actually turned. a metaphor. It's not a metaphor. It's, it's actual. Not, it's we, not you are talking it's to it's, it's, it's not a metaphor, dude. No, it's reality. You think that way because you're uh, you're limited in your thought, and that's what's happening. But this is so, bro. Do you understand? Do you understand what's oh, happened? Is like you came and made a channel where you started trying to gain notoriety, trying to gain status yes. by going after certain individual peoples. And no, yes. no offense, bro. I don't mean this. In, I'm not trying to be offensive. Yes. It didn't work. It was a fucking unadulterated failure. You have put way no, too much work, work into these videos. You have put <laughs> no, way too you. much work. But it doesn't work for you. You're the right you person to sell, say this. You don't like, sell any product. Course. You have 200 fucking subscribers. It didn't work. It, and Thank now, you. and now you 186. Yeah, 186 yes. subscribers. It didn't yes. work. Now what's happened, it could any one of my guys, I could teach them in two seconds to get more than 200 subscribers in a day. But because you don't use, you probably don't use social media. You don't know how to use TikTok. You don't know how to use other things. You don't understand any type of status. And you're trying to no, say sorry primal to say that. status of elevated. Hold on. But you I don't, uh, here's the problem. Social blade, you you're don't, buying followers. So literally, you, like, you, I'm not. I'm, who am I buying I'm followers? I didn't buy. Who, who, well, look buy, at when Social Blade. Your YouTube literally has uh, buying followers. Hey, bro. I will bet you $100,000. I have never bought a follower on YouTube. I will bet you $100,000. Okay, check your Social Blade. I'm not saying it like. Uh, no, no, no. Just, you just said I bought followers, bro. I'm No, we're not going to let this go. I said has the pattern. I said the words. No, no, no. When I looked at Social Blade, we're not. We're not letting this go. We're not letting this go. Yes. I had 18,000 subscribers when I started my fucking channel, and now I have 49,200. And I did so because I interviewed I interviewed uh, Dan Bilzerian. Did you interview Dan Bilzerian? I interviewed Dan Bilzerian. Nope. I interviewed uh, Ty Lopez, and I could go over a number of people. I go on Fresh and Fit frequently, and they have a million subscribers. And you think I bought my followers? Bro, if I bought my followers, I'd have 100,000 subs. I never bought a single fucking follower. But the problem is, and, from your perspective, yeah. from your perspective, because you aren't successful, no, no, you no, look no. at me being I successful. I love what you're doing. And you start, I encourage bro, everyone to bro, do the same. I have never, I have never bought a fucking follower on YouTube. That is 
so absurdly ridiculous. I have videos on there right now that have fucking 800 views. I have never bought a fucking follower. That is crazy that you would say that shit. And I will go look at my social blade. It's not going to show that I bought any fucking followers. You are making sure some again, days you have zero and some days thousands, some days zero like yes, that. Yes, why would I hold on, hold on? If I go and I and I appear on other people's shows like Brad Lee or Fresh and Fit, could it possibly be because I went on their show, I gained some followers? Or is that concept too difficult for you to understand? You will look at it. No, you when you look at it, you'll see what I'm talking well, about. Bro, it's don't, simple. don't. It's bro, not like that. It's I'm not calling the spike you that out. you think. We're looking it out now. I'm not worried yes. at all because I didn't buy any fucking followers, dude. This is crazy. Stare your screen, you are, I am. I'm about yeah, to. Hold can on. I, can I throw something in here about followers? Go ahead. Uh, sub subscriptions are a fucking vanity metric. First of yes, all, yes, I love that. Anyone uh, now, can now it. No, no, shut the fuck up for just one second. <laughs> thank okay? you, thank you. Subs are a are, are a vanity <laughs> metric. Comments are a vanity metric. Likes are a vanity metric as well. So whether or not anybody's buying subs, the only people who care about who has more subs than who are people who don't understand how fucking YouTube works. Yes, but this. that's a this to Michael Sartain right now. This is funny. This is great. <laughs> well, I have more so than you and Michael Sartain and pretty much anybody else on this fucking show right now. I love that. That's okay, so, so let, let, hold on. Let's go here. Right let's go here. Bro, bro, bro. Here's the, here's the problem, right? Yes. So let's look at this spike right here. So you're saying no, no, it no, looks go down like to that followers. daily followers, please. Uh, okay. Below. It's below. Yes. You see how it's exactly 100? It, no, up, up, up from because there. Because it rounds I off, dumbass. No, no, no. I look at other channels. They have no other channels. I don't have it rounded off. Sorry to say that. No, no, you don't know how YouTube works, dude. You don't know how YouTube works. It does. admit that you do not know anything about YouTube analytics. No, I will not. No, I disagree with whatever you're saying. No, no, nothing about analytics. No, no, no. Look at that. There are days where it's zero. And days yeah. worth. Oh, no, I looked at all the channels. Go look at mine. Look at Rollo's Go pick up mine. Go pick up mine. Yeah. Go pick up mine. Go look at mine. Shit, I got more subs fun. than Mike. You would think the rational man announced in mine, right? The rational. Hell, I go to. Uh, you can even go to hell. Go to Playboard.co and look at my shit. <laughs> no, we're doing the same one because. Oh, look here! Oh, what is that, bro? Oh, checkmate. Checkmate. No checkmate. Sorry. I have no idea about Rolo, but I checked the channels and they checkmate. Have then pick a different. Bro, bro, you're Why pissing you me off. Pick a fucking channel. Me, pick a fucking channel. <laughs> pick a fucking channel, dude. The reason why is because you get fewer than 100 subs a day. That's the reason why it looks like that for you. Pick a channel and I'll show you this again. They do round off subscriber numbers. You don't know what you're talking about. Checkmate. One more time. Go to you Fresh pick. and Fit. No checkmate. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> with so this now, objection you just, being, you're just being oh, so, no, yeah, no no now no you, now don't, you're just don't going change it in that way bro like coming on my coming way. on my channel telling me that you yes. love the stuff i'm doing and then saying i bought fucking followers it's fucking insanity no, I, dude. I believe it's it could be part of the game as uh right rollo tomasi had in his live stream to say oh many people it's part of the game that they play sure. which is to buy things so i don't see it as a negative thing when you spoke fresh that don't live buy, stream. Iron and Fresh don't buy subs because no, they no, understand I, I, because they understand it's a waste of fucking money. It is such a waste of money to buy subs. Wait, 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 hold on. I got, wait, let, me, let me throw Hello, rational mail clips. 1K. They do round it off. Let they do I, round let me, it off. Let me see if I can explain this in like eighth grade terms here. Okay. When thank you. <laughs> now you're belittling, when, you're dominating me. Like, uh, well, go just, for okay, it. Let, let me let me explain to you. Oh, oh, look here, look here, look here. Subscribers plus one million. Checkmate. Checkmates, yeah. <laughs> they do round it off, bro. They do. You didn't know what you were talking about. This is the most popular person on all of YouTube, Mr. Beast. Checkmate, they do. What they do is they don't round it off by day. They just round it off. He got 1 million in the, from this period to this period. He got 1 million new subs. That's how it works. You don't understand Great. YouTube analytics you. and you came out here. Dude, don't say yeah, thank you. I mean, Learn. I mean, you have been making you. mistakes. You've been taking L's. No, no, no. Right, man. I said the pattern. When I said I spoke specifically in this way. No fucking pattern, bro. I can show you the data where I had boosts and those days I, I was literally this. on oh. fresh and fit all you guys are ganging Dylan, up on Dylan, me it's, it's fun Dylan. it's really fun <laughs> I love this no 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 it is uh, absolutely no I have seen channels who have it's not rounded out off at all. It could be like two thousand. Yes, because because because, the because they have less than a hundred a day. Where where they get less than a hundred a day? Where 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 where, 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 where? Tell me the name. Tell me the name of them, dude. Where? Sure, I will find the name right now and I will tell you. Just one second. Where? I'm not looking at Social Blade. I'm just looking in no, YouTube. Go to, go, go to playbook.co. They do the same ah, thing yeah, there man. too. 
Those are the two places that you go. Now, let me explain something to you, okay? So the reason why we say that uh, subscriptions are a vanity metric and uh, and uh, comments and likes, uh, please like my video, okay? I, I'm great. But the thing is, is that when it comes to the algorithm, when it comes to impressions, when it comes to click-through rate, it makes no fucking difference, period. Now, how do I know that? Let me explain to you. Back in August of 2021, when Myron and Fresh got uh, sort of run up the flagpole by Abba and Preach, everyone thought that was the beginning of the end. They were at about 400,000 subs at that time, and they lost probably about 36 to 40,000 subs as a result of that. If they were buying subs, do you not think that they would try to offset that by buying more subs? No, they didn't. You know why? Because they know that it does that. You want to talk about playing the game? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how the game is played. Okay. So what happens is they lose thirty six. <laughs> Education. Subs. Hold hold on hold on. Yeah, we let you talk. I'm gonna explain something to you so you'll understand this for the future. So when you do another hit piece video, people will know what we're talking about. So when you're talking about subscriptions, subscriptions don't make any difference at all. You know why? Because if you go to Playboard.co or if you go to uh, Social Blade and you go, I, I want you to do this after we're done. Go to those sites. Go look at who I the will number not, one. Then. Look at who the number one. Of course most, you wouldn't. Of course you won't. Look at of who course. the number one most super chatted show was during the month of August. I if love that. You're putting Fresh, the criteria hold on, of the shut, Hold on. Good, shut good, up good. for one second. Thank I'm you. Thank you. You're very polite. Finish this thought, okay? <laughs> I, I'm trying to speak over you because you keep interrupting. So here's the deal. What happens is they're at 400,000 subs. They lose. They're, they're down about what? 386, somewhere up, maybe lower than that, like maybe 370 as a result. People thought it was the beginning of the end. If you go and you look at the revenue that they generated during the month of August of 2021, they are the number one most super chatted show on planet fucking earth. $120,000 in just super chats. I know I watch the fucking numbers. So when I'm looking- I believe you have shown okay, it in the so, so show. Here, let, me, let me explain. So what happens by October of 2021, they are at, oh, they are well over 500,000 subscribers, okay? All those subs came back. They're not making as much money because now they've got more subs, but it doesn't, that there's, there's not, that's not causal, okay? So now suddenly they're back on top again because people think that subscriptions make any difference whatsoever, and they don't. When you're looking at the money and the dollars and cents- That's not what I see. What's going on there? That's not what I see. They're looking, I know, but I'm telling oh, okay. you, you don't understand this, okay? Thank you. No, I, I do understand. The analytics, I do. I'm educating I don't know what's you weird right about your channels, you guys. I sent you a please uh, open site hacks which is a channel that i saw today you'll see a natural pattern of youtube growth that's a very natural thing i don't know what's wrong with your channels where it looks so weird like that or uh, whatever but please look that's how it's supposed to look the like reason now why you have, the reason why you have wild increases or decreases is because not to me going but on in the content of the show simple as that that's all hey, bro. Um, yeah, hey, bro, my man, my man. I'm sorry, bro. If you just I took the show... big, you just took the biggest L of all time, bro. This is psychax. No, no. I mean, look how it's every single day. <laughs> you have days where it's no subscribers. That's yes. why it's so weird. Yeah. This because because, day, because I'm down to one. Hold on, bro. Because I'm down to 100. When you round off below 100, it's zero, bro. Do you not know how this works? Yes. How it's do you go? Insane. How how does it go like that? From less than what less than because here's why okay so so not that it's any of your business it's because we switched from one guy who was who was creating clips for us and we switched to a different one that Pearl actually messaged me so for four days we didn't produce any fucking content so I didn't get any new subscribers that's why it happened dude god damn man it's just so crazy that you like the difference between 100 subscribers and zero you think I'm paying for 100 subscribers today at some point we're getting to like you having mental illness this is crazy no dude I am not paying for subscribers you, I'm crazy yes. like that no no, no but it's not, that, it's not, it's not just that you're crazy bro it's not just that you're crazy you have a channel <laughs> called primal status elevated and you yes. have no muscle mass you have a pl channel called primal status elevated and you're not oh, good no. with women I now at home you're, you're not but you're not I good with this. women this good. but you're not good yeah, exactly. with women exactly. women. you know everyone this is what I show you what the, uh, they are doing it's Saturday for example now he's attacking me as an ad hominem which is to destroy my ideas by attack as a person which is a fallacy I'm not when you well, when you was fast, ad, you get angry that we destroy your ideas. Well, so what are you talking I'm about? I'm not angry. Okay. I'm excited. This is well, fun. One more time. One more time. It's ad hominem if your name is John Smith. 
It's not John Smith. Your fucking name is primal status elevated, and you do none of those things. I love that. You have no status, nor You're do you elevate me others. The You're literally like that is not at hominem, bro. You don't attacking attacking me. understand. Thank you, you don't so understand. much. I love this. You this don't understand. You don't understand Latin. That is not what ad hominem means. I am attacking you because you are literally promising something that Latin isn't word. true. I'm speaking about the debating fallacy. It's no, no, no. You literally said ad, ad hominem, bro. It yes. is not ad hominem. You don't know what that means. Ad hominem would be if your name was John Smith and I was like, yo, bro, you're a bitch. That's ad hominem. You have a name called primal status elevated. And no offense, bro. You don't look like you go to the gym. That is not me ad thank hominem you, attacking you. Thank you very you. much. Yes. Dude, you, you don't have to say, keep saying thank you, bro. This is not working out well for you. Trust me. Okay. It if is. you want... Like, like, listen, if you want, like, but I know you think you're going to get a ton of subscribers from this. You aren't. You're taking I'm it. Not, like, you are. I your Alton yeah. list are getting dunked on by Shaquille. Metric. Yo, hold on. Listen, <laughs> you're Chris Dudley. You're, right now, you're Chris Dudley getting dunked on by Shaq. You're not going to get any no, subscribers no, no. from this. Okay? I'm the real man of action, if you think about it. In two months, that's the, the, oh, how old the channel so is. I created on. more than 100 videos, 24 live streams in two months, etc. Like, who is taking the real action? I love me. action. I'm not I, I mean, I'm doing one. more than you. Me, I'm doing more than you. And I coach I five other guys. I'm happy. Remember, I'm one of, like, there is my story, which you didn't watch in the thing. I almost died in the war in Ukraine. So, of course, I gained some weight to heal mentally and then get back to the thing. I'm not a normal person. I lost everything, and I need to rebuild or whatever. And I'm not saying I'm attacking you. I'm explaining specifically. It's attacking is the way you get attention which is similar to Andrew Tate or whatever so that you share the good value but that you, you have. didn't get attention you did it didn't work because I you am did I'm not speaking follow. to you right now the show that's working no you're I not am on bro the no one's with Rolo Tomasi and Michael Sarte <laughs> so like is there a more it didn't work no 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 it bro worked. you're not listening it, this is it proof it's working the algorithm the algorithm it doesn't work the algorithm, what you did I don't the care algorithm about the denied algorithm. you no, no, you're saying that because Look, this is again, you you're talking are, your book. You, you don't wrong, care about the like, you don't care about the algorithm because you took an L. That's the reason why. If I had made I that many there videos is no and got no as long as you don't give up, there is no such thing as taking yes, an L. There or is losing. there is taking no, an L. No, it's, it's not. not. Let, let uh, me give let me let me have you let me give you an example, right? The Dallas Cowboys played the San Francisco 49ers and they didn't give up and they still took the L. This That's is how an fucking infinite works. game. This is an infinite game, it's not a finite game. Uh. That's a totally different concept. You're right, and you take infinite L's. That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. Thank you so much. Here's the, here's the other thing, dude. It, it there's very grow. small, <laughs> there's very small things that you could do that would help you build your channel. But one of the things is you no, making you, ad hominem, you making ad hominem attacks against me and Rolo. That's the problem. It didn't work, and you thought it was going yes, to the work. Yes, infinite game. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes that's all your, Now I know this is where all your Raj, Raj, go. From. This no, is no, where all not. shit's coming from. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's Raj. not. It is not. Raj, go. I read a lot, so uh, it's, it's unrelated to any specific book. But thank you. Are you calling it bullshit? It's literally I am it's calling beautiful. It bullshit. I'm love and hate are two right sides now. of the same coin. Now so I know where it came from. Yeah, that's a, that's a scientific cares. fact. Love and hate are two it. sides thank of the same you. coin. More science. Thank thank you. More you. science, bro. Said, More you science. This? What you. book are you getting this from? Raj, go. Raj. No, I just want to say. I just want to say, uh, does that book have any of the stuff we're talking about? I don't know, but thank you, thank you. I love this. Now you're laughing in order to belittle checkmate. me, which uh, increases. No, your he's not laughing. No, no, he's not no, laughing no, in order no, to belittle no, you. No, he's no, laughing no, because no, what you're saying is nonsensical. He's laughing because no, he's he's not laughing. It's coming. He's not laughing. No one is trying to belittle you, bro. We are living our fucking life, and you are saying absurd shit. I love that. Yes, because I'm innovative. They're not understanding. They're not by no. It's not people. innovation. You know, it's not no at the same level. Online. We're not speaking at that same level of consciousness, yeah, and that's why it doesn't not. land. You, know? you are one. That's the first thing you've been right about the whole time. <laughs> I have to lower myself in order to be understood, and I'm unwilling. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. This was fun. Thank you, Rolo, Rolo, and thank Rolo. you, Michael Sartain. Rolo, this was so wanna, much fun. Rolo, I just have a question. Um, you were saying yes. to Mike that, hey, you know, like, you only have 49,000 followers, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then, like you were kind of talking shit about like his views and stuff, and then that he bought followers. But like, then you said, "I'm a man of action. I have a hundred videos, and I only have like two hundred subscribers." Like, it doesn't yeah. really make sense. Like, you do you see the disconnect here? I that... don't ask people wait, to subscribe. Wait, 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 I ask wait. them to unsubscribe. Like, you can wait, watch. I ask wait, wait, people to wait, unsubscribe. Wait. I don't want more subscribers. I literally do not. Never. I have never asked people to subscribe. I literally ask people to unsubscribe all the time because I'm doing something different. Yeah, but like, even if you ask, <laughs> enough people, like nobody, like, 
if, if I don't like is uh, Simon Sinek speaking about unsubscribe? I don't know what what you're talking about, Rollo, because that book is not a Bible or oh, you know, just had one idea. dude, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's cut the shit. Just cut the shit. No. I only you'll, watched you'll, the TEDx. Do, I didn't even read so the book. Much, so. You will do it's so much unrelated. better. If you stop. Dude, when you're digging your own grave, the best thing you can do is stop. I it. am not digging my grave. I'm having fun. This is great. Let's keep going. So, uh, Raj, you wanted to ask yeah, I something. I have a question. Like, um, what's your videos that you made? You said you made 100 videos, right? The last two months? Yes, at least. I have more. They all yeah. like exposed videos of like literally everybody in a certain niche or space or... Are, are you... Anybody who is doing things well enough to be worth studying. That's how I will frame it. And thank you. Okay, yes. But if they're, if they're, um, like James like, B. Cars. Yeah. Yeah, I don't worth... know who's James B. Cars. No, really. Oh, yes, I honestly James. do not know. I do not. What do you mean? I'm not lying. Look at my energy and my vibe. Look in my eyes. I'm not lying. I have no idea who's James B. Realize Cars. When or people something. Get, you realize when people get nervous and they get caught in a lie, that's they do exactly what you're doing right now. <laughs> yes, or people who are having posture. fun and playing the game. Well, guilty so. conscience. Uh, just the same. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I love I that. Dude, now it's the refrain. I learned, but I learned honestly, from I'm fine. Man. This I is learned fun. From the fucking best, my friend. Oh, from me, yes. You learned from me, Rollo. Thank I would you. Love, thank you so much. You learned play, from me. I, I would love to. It. I would love to play poker with you. Would love to play. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, it's gonna be so much fun. But thank you so much, Rollo. This is a free coaching call. Can you guys stick to questions? I need you guys to stick to questions. Go ahead. Yes. If you got questions no. for Primal, go. Sure. Ask me any questions. I'm ready. Let's have fun. Go ahead, Tristan. Right, so I, I, have one, I have one more question. Okay. Okay. So I know you talk a lot about psychological concepts yes. and foundations. You, you yes. would agree with that, right? Okay. Yes. Um, I have two questions. What is your qualification to speak on something like that? And how do you go about learning and getting your information? Because as someone who says sure. psychology, I could tell you don't use psychological science. I use metaphors because as Cialdini said, metaphor is the most powerful way to communicate. To okay, people so you don't order use science is what you're saying. What, what, what do you mean with that? science? Now we're, we're going very complicated. I have a master's degree of science. I'm not going to reveal too much because I get death threats on my email every day. So let, let's stop there. Not too much. What, what, field, what field of science? Can I ask that? No comment on any of that. It sounds like bullshit. No comment. Right? No, I, yeah. I'm not going to. It's, it's, me, it's mentalism combined with numerology. That's the science. Thing. Thank you. I love that. Well, 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 yes, wait, those wait, people wait, wait, do wait, primal wait, status elevation ask, very well. Honest to God, this is, this is, a, this is a, a genuine, uh, honest question. Is it in Thank the STEM field? Science, technology, engineering, or mathematics? Is it any of those four? Close enough, but not any of those. No. <laughs> okay, so none of those. Okay, okay. great. No, I would agree. That's all. That was my question. Anyone else can go. Thank you. All right, cool. Anybody else have a question points. for Primal while he's on there? Ask while, me. While he's on here with Rolo. Yes. Guys, go ahead Thank and you, unmute yourselves because I don't know who to, who to call. And there's so many yeah, people I got with three their quick points. Number all right. One, happy and... birthday to Rolo. Number oh, two, you, 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 musician, not magician. And number three, John Anthony Lifestyles. This, this guy reminds me of. That's it. Oh, thank you. Wait, I did the video on him. He Dylan, said, I remind him of John Anthony Lifestyles. That's who he reminds me of. And yeah, happy I made the Rolo. video about him. Yes. And you can earlier, watch. did you mean musician or like magician? Perhaps no, magician, which is the archetype of uh, academics of knowledge. And it's balanced by the opposite, which is the outlaw, which is the archetype right. of the bad boy, Viking, etc. that he's going for. So. But where did you learn about the archetypes? archetypes. Aren't why do you need bro? to know? Like, if you want you to go to primalstatus.com and you'll know why or where. Like you're asking bro, specific stop questions using about things that are appropriate. It's not there. scientific. This is legitimately pissing me off. This is not scientific. And then you're using If it's you're pissing you off, it's absolutely great. Of time, <laughs> that's you what can't I'm do going it. for. Okay, so, primal. Because you, you don't know anything about primal. science, bro, because you're a fucking idiot. Primal. Thank you. Thank you. Primal. Who's talking? Who's talking? That kid that you're arguing with goes to Harvard. So what? Chill. I went to a top school as well. So but you won't say it. <laughs> we really, but yeah, you, but, but, you, but you did. But you didn't. But you didn't. No, I did. I, I really did. But but, you didn't. Did. but, but you didn't. But you didn't because did. we, did. we, we we've caught you in like six lies already, bro. Computers? You didn't. You can go the fact we disagree doesn't mean it's a lie. The fact I don't ascribe to the same paradigms. No, no, no. The fact, the fact, the fact that you've made false metaphors about me means that you are you you consistently lie, and this is probably another lie. Okay, thank you for uh, saying that. I appreciate it. Yeah. 
No, Rax, no. you want to turn yeah, your camera on? You can't. Exactly Dylan. You're just thanking Mike. Like it, like it doesn't make you win the argument by thanking him. I'm, uh, you know, I believe in uh, kindness and in love for all and hate towards no, none. I know you wouldn't. Bro, how are you talking <laughs> about you believe in kindness, motherfucker? You make hit pieces on people who hit pieces. It seems to you like hit pieces. What's your bro? content? It's, it's, I actually, last time I said, for example, during my uh, interview with some guy who spoke about the red pill, I said, I think Rolo Tomasi, uh, a lot of things I wouldn't have known without his book, for example. Like, you see the title outside and you uh, judge the inside. The inside is we watch the whole stuff. video. I show all your videos About to my you clients. It's not kindness, and Don, yes, bro. I felt it's bad not for kindness. Anton, and that's specific. It's not you fucking. Well, hey, you want to know something? Anton is kicking some fucking ass right now. I'll tell you that right now. And so is Billy. I'm happy for him. <laughs> no, you're not, bro. It's not kindness, bro. You shit talk behind people's back. That's what you not do. Behind, that is not I'm high here. status. I, that is it, not high said, status. I'm here. <laughs> I that have not high status. Here. I gotta, I'm not hiding. Go ahead, Rolo. Go ahead, Rolo. Go. Good question. You mentioned Robert Cialdini just a little while ago, right? Was would he yeah. be an influence of yours? Did you do you hold him in high regard? He's a psychologist. I know. Uh, that. That's a you trick know. question, anyway. So uh, no. Yeah, it's a trick question a because question. it has a definable answer, and you won't answer. answer. That's, that's why it's a trick question. I separate the messages from the messenger. So in any way, okay, so you, but you mentioned, but you mentioned him by name. So clearly he's got to be some sort of influencer and in, like inspiration. I don't know. What is he to you? Like, why, why do you, why would you mention Robert Childe? He's a peer. <laughs> That's all I can say. No, he's man, don't play. Please don't. Cause I know what you're doing. You're setting me up for something. So okay, I won't even go there. Okay. Well, I mean, have you read any of his books? Uh, no comment. I'm not can going there. Any, can you name any of his books? I don't know. Uh, it took no, me habla, no, to habla Google Google you're whatever. setting yourself up by <laughs> not answering the question and showing you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's what you're saying. No, no, I'm, not, I'm not entering a game that do I know, know I will be in, Shield, a, in, you know in a double Robert bind. Sh I know, know that. No, no, time out, time out. No, no, you already entered in a game yeah. that you were going to lose, bro. But when you no, came no, on the show. No, this is fine. Yeah, you did. This is good. Dude, I understand that you understand that you're framing. I'm just asking questions, man. At but least, I, I at least flat earth, facts. at least flat earthers have empirical observations that they confuse for facts. I love that you're making you me don't have anything. Flat earthers. This is good. I, I love this. This is great. Thank you. Oh, you did <laughs> it to yourself. You you're it to... doing it to yourself, dude. Okay, I did. It. Yes, you because I have agency. Like Nobody that. does it to do me. I, what what I do Bro, here, to myself because oh, wow. I love oh, that. Here's here's another here's another one. Here's another one where you were just completely off. There was a time when you did make a video and I say something and then Kylie starts, who is my girlfriend, starts laughing yeah. at the thing that I said. And you see, do you see what happened here? Do you see how she's turned in towards him? Yes, motherfucker, because it works. Because I actually teach a course about status and I know what I'm talking about. And you don't. That's the point. This is the point I'm trying I to make. Do. I, I am do for very, no very well. Bro, I am 45 fucking years old and I'm in the gym every day. I'm like, he's, stop. He's never sat this close to people, so he doesn't understand. Bro, it's just works. so fucking yeah. crazy, bro. Like, oh, like, like at say. some point, <laughs> at some point, dude, it's the oh, point. Michael, it's the I truth. see you're triggered right now. Uh, I, please calm down. No, bro, Mike. I'm not triggered. This is what I do when I go live. No, he's pulling the trigger on you. He's not triggered. Yeah. Honestly. But bro, it's just so crazy. No, no, no. Here's the thing. I'm a performance coach. I care deeply. Now you're not one of my clients, but my brain is is here. My brain is in this. That's what I do on you're Monday. Qualifying I, I right care about there. Everyone. Aren't you saying that you should nobody should qualify ever? Why are you qualifying and say I'm a performance? That, that's coach? never. That's not I what he said, wondering. though. That's not what. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you, don't, saying you don't need. You. I'm saying you don't need to yeah. qualify when somebody's you're all the same tribe. Right. I'm the outsider, so you're attacking me. The whole tribe. I'm so great. Like literally, the whole tribe is muted. I want to ask questions. This is absolutely fun. Rolo go. Like it's his birthday. Everybody, Brian, everybody, shut the fuck up. Rolo wants you know. to talk. No, no, no. Rolo's, gonna, Rolo's wife has to have sex with him. It's his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Have, yeah, the, the Hummer I got last night was great. Um, okay. So, uh, so you, I, I'm gonna because I've been I've been taking notes because I actually care. And happy birthday, Rolo! Well, by thank the you way. very much. So, give me one birthday present. Well, let's go to uh, this one. Um, you said you redefine manipulation. Is that yes. not what you yes, said? So, I okay. Do. So, how do you let me let me ask you this? How do you define manipulation? Okay. Um, manipulation, as I said, I redefine it as handling skillfully because manipulation, mm -hmm. you can think about it as something which is to handle things without, I'm taking out the deception part of it. And I was asked this question and I always uh, say it because I believe and uh, that, and you probably will know about that 48 laws of power, but I didn't even, I'm not even saying I'm ascribing to it. I'm just saying something. There is one thing where uh, the, the most power you hold is by making people not believe uh, that power exists or that it's good. I want to make normal people believe that 
whatever you're doing is actually great and you should do the same thing that you're doing in order for you to build an audience and gain power. I am attacking you, but actually I'm giving you literally saying that this person is a great example to be studied. That's literally what I say in the video. <laughs> I don't know. So, but sometimes so I say, is, sometimes you, so, sometimes so, you justify can, can too can much. Refine, your... Can we refine this just a little bit? Okay. So you, yeah. if you're, re, you're, for your redefining manipulation yes. as handling skillfully, correct? Yes. Was I right yes. about that? Okay. Yes. So if that's the case, then what's the difference between say seduction, persuasion, manipulation like salesmanship what what's the difference like what are, where's the distinction between all of those like when is okay. it good and yes, when yes. is it bad i i will not go into good and bad because i'm beyond okay. good well, and when is it, well when is it well when is it when does it become no, I, will, I will tell you the difference and when does it become salesmanship and when does it become seduction and when because sure. those are varying shades of manipulation are they not sure 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 i will tell you 100 percent. 100 percent. uh what i believe in is creating scenarios or using symbols or beliefs so that people come to their own conclusion. And that's what you, for example, do. And many of the great manipulators, I will say, is creating something or whether it's by telling a story or showing a, re a refutable visual evidence, as Michael Sartain would say, or anything like that, where people will come to their own conclusion and therefore it's from their own volition and therefore they believe strongly in it rather than believing or feeling they have been influenced and therefore there is always some buyer's remorse. Would, so you, say that, would you say that influencing somebody, like being an influencer, is a negative thing or a positive thing? Depends. I, I would think it's weaker because it's, felt it's like the difference between charm and charisma or uh something like that it's you're change. doing can, something can and and charisma therefore, be like negative or positive or is there like is there some sort of distinction or threshold between those two? the distinction is uh the effectiveness i would say not in the negativity i don't go into wouldn't, negative wouldn't or the, positive wouldn't the, wouldn't the distinction be in the uh, the ultimate purpose rather than the effect i mean you could be very effective and have it be like you can be a real son of a bitch or you can but be that's I found that yeah, Rommel and Hitler were pretty effective. Can, well, they were well, very no, no, well, that's that's effective. Like, you can be effective, the means you can be effective the and also right help there. somebody by persuading them to do something different, can you? Because uh, what I doing, what right? I am talking about is that the only way to help people is to offer them to do that, what we are speaking about. So I am saying the only way to help people because then it's their own decision they feel like it is or they feel it's the tribal leader who is giving them advice. Okay, because well, if you try to give someone the advice... Okay. So uh, good, 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 good observation. Okay. So yeah. if it's the cult leader, if it's the cult of personality, if it's the tribal yes. leader, whatever, yes. if that leader has the best interests of the tribe in mind, then yes. is influencing them a good thing? I, I say yes. I say to people, become that. I literally tell people, become that, because that's mm -hmm. the only way you can be a good person and help people rather than being naive enough to think that you can just talk directly to people or whatever. So that's what I say. I literally say it all the time. Okay. So I so say it, let me ask, it's in that I'm, way. I'm just asking questions here. So would you say that seduction is a good thing or a bad thing? It uh, depends on your definition. So uh, please don't go there because it's well, a totally seducing, different. Seducing a like, woman. for example, if you think about Locario, he will define seduction as yeah. to, with women who are low interest to turn them into high interest, while uh, the art of seduction will define it different. Like, there's too many definitions. Can you speak about sales and like mm -hmm. marketing uh, specifically so that we stay within that realm? Because, well, okay. Um, well, then, what, Bill, the reason why I say that is because people liken game and pickup artistry and influence. And uh, because if you've ever yes. read, well, you just mentioned the 40 laws of power right with robert green so For robert example, green also yeah. wrote the art of seduction okay yes. it's not an instruction manual it just shows you how it works okay so how does because he doesn't so it's a praxeology correct well no 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 no, no. <laughs> well it is in a way but like but that's i don't think he meant it that way but here's the thing is that so you can be persuasive to help somebody say quit smoking correct okay so let's think about this right? you can be metaphorism to get somebody to vote for you you can be persuasive yes. in a sermon at church. You can be persuasive when you're talking to a girl at a bar. So I love what you're saying. Distinction? Well, I'm just saying, is the act of seduction necessarily bad or is it how you use it? So I love this very, very much. We're not actually in disagreement. I am a bit offensive in order to get attention. So that's what's messing the whole thing. I use specific metaphors in order to explain to people deeper levels of persuasion that because when they watch it, they go more into trance, they cannot analyze them. I stop and explain what's happening there. And yes, I say it literally, you have to do that if you're a good person, because 
um, it's a tool. There is a difference, I say, between speaking a language, let's say there is a language of persuasion, and then you can lie in that language or tell the truth. It's uh, amoral or uh, totally neutral when it comes to that. So when I use manipulation, it's a neutral thing. It's not okay, good so, or bad. So you, so would, you, would it be fair to say that the problem you have with Michael and I is not the fact that we use manipulation, that we use persuasion, that we use, uh, let's see, handling things skillfully, but rather how we use them? No, uh, I love that you're doing, and I'm uh, showing people how to study what you're doing so that they learn. I don't have a problem with neither of you. I'm here. I'm literally, it's only, I'm only saying that to get some, uh, like, understand, and you do it as well. Like when you're attacking people, for example, it's not because you hate those people. It's literally because that's a topic that will be interesting to people. Uh, so you are when worthy you of do being attack studied. and you get so no literally so you're doing the yes it seems like said. an attack but that's only in the outside because no, it is an attack inside. but you do it to get views which is but you're not getting views so it's an l that's what so you're the, saying so the right. act of no, no, makes that, is not i mean you cannot say it in, in that intrinsically bad or good correct uh, can you repeat that just because so, someone the, else the, so the act of influencing someone is not necessarily bad or good i just believe how, be, how it is being used correct Yes, I like no. I mean, like whether you're influencing of influencing them for their best interest or not. But then you have to define what is their best interest, which be makes it complicated. But if it's mutually be beneficial, it's good. Let's say it in that way. Okay. So when you are influencing somebody to buy something that may they may not want or that they may not need, is that bad? It is bad. Yes. Okay. Is it good? And, and, and you, but hold on, but you're not saying, you're saying in general, like what you're talking about is just like manipulations that could be good or bad, right? You're not giving a, a definition to them. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. That's, because that's because the title of this, the title of this is Dirty it's Michael Sartain Manipulation. <laughs> yes, I know. It's for fun. Look. The, Michael the Sartain exposed. Uh, it's just, it's just grinching. Fun. Look, it's, it's fun. fun. It's a joke. It looks grinching. It's I a joke. Does everybody, grinch. hey, put a, put a one in the chat no, if you guys the, recognize it's a joke, bro. I, I it doesn't matter what the, bro, it doesn't matter what the descriptions is, bro. Nobody thought it was funny. Unless you have autism, nobody thought that was funny, bro. It's crazy. I don't have currently autism, but no. The the video that is, I think is exceptionally debatable. You're that is exceptionally thank debatable. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, I uh, <laughs> I I thank you for your perspective. All right. Well, I find that I really probably. interesting. I find that really interesting because uh, if you yeah. are a fan of Robert Cialdini, then you must know that every single book he's ever written about is titled "Influence: The Science of Psychology and Persuasion." Well, uh, that's what I. Influence Just because he yes, calls it that I don't it doesn't yes, mean that I influence have. and persuasion. Um yes. every literally every title of the psychology. He's one of the people I read. I didn't say he's my he god or specialize but that was the only name you brought up though so far. I could I have uh, brought Sorry, up infinite for games. Maybe James P. Carson, yes. but still. No, no, no. Uh, no, well, I was speaking about still, Simon Sinek. No, no, literally. Could you, oh, could I mean you, Simon could Sinek you tell infinite me, games. do you know what the uh, six principles Simon are? Simon Sinek. No, specifically, the book that I meant is Simon Sinek Infinite Game. I don't know the other book that you're speaking about. There is Simon Sinek Infinite Game. Mm. No, literally, I uh, look for it. Hey, guys, look at this. Disturbing Michael Sartain secrets. Isn't yes. that funny, guys? That's a fucking hilarious joke. Put a one <laughs> in the chat if you guys hilarious. think that's a hilarious joke. Look, every disturbing single one. Disturbing yes, but... Michael Sartain secrets. Guys, look at this. It's a joke. It's obviously a joke. <laughs> Who is? Put a one in the chat yes. if you guys get that it's this funny. is a joke. Yeah, it's hilarious, bro. For sure, bro. This is this is clearly you being a joke. So wow, let me explain to you what. Let me explain to you. Fuck, really? Let me, let me explain to you guys what's actually going on. He, he primal status no, don't explain probably what's actually some, going on because that's pri primal uh, primal status saw that there were some people that made hit pieces probably similar to like coffeezilla maybe spencer cornelia and then maybe saw what john anthony lifestyle and some other people like that were doing and he tried to take up that mantle and he did so and it didn't work so he kept making more and more and more and at now at 170 or how many videos he's made it's still not working he has shorts with like one view on them so in order to try to level up his game, he writes me a message to try to get on my show. And I did this, but I didn't do this in order to like, because, but bro, trust me, I could tell everyone here to follow you. They're still not going to follow you. You're No one's going to subscribe to your channel. The problem is the problem that happened is what happens after that is that you can't, you come on here and you consistently disprove with your action, every single thing that you're saying, you do care about getting subscribers. Don't shake your head, bro. You're, you're, you're being silly. You can unmute yourself, bro. You're, don't you, you say, you seem ridiculous. 
and no one believes you and no one thinks that what you're saying is funny. So here's what happens. It's like you shove a bully in the back and after he turns around, you're like, yo, bro, I was just, I was just joking, bro. You grab some girl's ass and you're like, yo, bro, I was just joking. That's what you do after the fact because you are taking the L. That's what's going on, bro. In case you were wondering, bro, just unmute yourself. Why are you being ridiculous? Like, uh, seriously, do you have a learning disability? Yeah. Just unmute yourself, dude. What is going on? Unmute yourself. The fuck is going on? Push the mute oh, button. Be 1% smarter okay. than the machine. Thank you. Thank you very much. What I said is, I'm not being ridiculous. Uh, thank you for everything. As you say, social media is fake, and I'm okay with that. And therefore, I'm very okay with this. I love this very much. I believe you are people worth studying, and people will benefit from knowing what you're doing, not what you're saying, uh, only what you're saying. So what you're saying, of course, it can help some people, but the deeper level is what you're doing, which is where the magic is at, and that is what I'm sharing. And you said it's not working. I'm asking people to unsubscribe. To me, it's working. And to me, action is its own reward. So I'm very process-oriented. Uh, yeah, we're all su sufficiently confused. Yeah, none of that we're all very I'm confused. I'm not confused. To so say. I need to. Oh, well, we're glad, we're glad like you're not confused. <laughs> I'm like eight years old. Does anybody else have any questions? About me. Yes. Anybody all right. has questions? Uh, I do. I do. Can I talk? Yeah, go ahead, Gabriel. All right. And I just want to know, and I, I looked at his channel, and he Point has like a ball. couple dozen videos, always bashing someone from the self-development community, from Tyler to yes. you, and... But at the same time, he uses things like I'm process oriented, which is a classic Please. jargon that Aris D. Tyler uses. So what seems to be, okay. what seems to me, to me to be the case is that he's frustrated with the community and has made it a life mission to undermine it. And I, I am sorry for my English. I'm speaking from Brazil. But Please. I want to know from him, it's like, when did you lost hope to develop yourself? Because that's the only possible explanation. Like you couldn't do I it. Love the, the only you possible decided to spend like a thousand hours in 200 videos to bash the community. And you talk about past, present and future and that creating a narrative. Your narrative seems to yes. be, I yes. can't make it and I'm gonna destroy it. And then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna take this like false satisfaction of when we, when we put these really good arguments, you do these silly jokes that not even you yourself believe in it. And you seem to be taking pleasure of kind of pissing some of us off. And yes. so why have you embarked on becoming this like kind of Darth Vader hunting down? Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Failing yes. miserably to hunt down failing the yes. development community. And what did you think you can get out of it? If, wouldn't this thousand hours be better spent on the gym or studying the man of action thank course? God, oh, I love that. That, okay. I, lo I love that too, but not for the same reasons you do. Gabriel, okay, that's a can great you question. give me a, like, no problem. Is anybody seeing me? Because it seems uh, you're yeah, we can like, see, it's can see you fine, you. bro. We can see it's you fine. Pinned on you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Gabriel. Um, Brazil is a beautiful country. <laughs> I love that place. I mentioned it in my story. And I will say literally, I speak about people that I know about. And therefore, because I know about them, I can speak about them. And it actually means that I am into the self-development community. But thank you for the leading question. That was great for the presuppositions uh, and for uh, creating me as Darth Vader, who's failing. I love that narrative. It's very good. You should be a politician in a good way. Primal, answer the saying. fucking question, bro. This is so there crazy. Is no oh, question. Say, bro. This question is, this question is when question. Did you why did you give up hope? Why don't you work question. on yourself? That's no, Primal, question why right don't there. you work on yourself? That's the point he's making. You put I'm so much on effort myself. in this. I'm you working aren't. on my every single video. No, is dude, you're bro, for me bro, to learn Primal, and everyone to You learn. are a fucking hater. Primer, you are a fucking hater. That is all you have Thank worked you. on becoming. You are not in Thank shape. You. You're a oh, hater and you have an this unsuccessful YouTube channel. No, Thank bro. You. No, no, you, no, you think, hold on. Here's the problem, bro. You're confused. You think I'm insulting you. I'm not. I'm legitimately asking the question. Yeah, thank why, you. That is so much effort. Why not just take one fucking iota of instruction and do better? I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't take instruction from other people. I apologize for this. I'm super independent. Right, but, but hold on. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Then stop saying that your primal status elevated. Change your name. 
That's how it's you my can't name. Talk about I Robert, claim it. You can't it's talk up to about me you can't decide. talk about Robert Chow. I can. I choose to you can't talk about, about Robert Chow. It's my choice. And fucking Robert my Green, own and then person. say I don't take instruction from other people. <laughs> Successful high status people deliberately take instruction from other people. I'm going to use extreme That's examples what you again. You say because it helps to sell more. Like well, it's insane. It it's saying so. Max Planck <laughs> didn't help Albert Einstein. So Max Planck didn't instruct Albert Einstein to get his PhD thesis. Are you serious, bro? You're living in a fucking dream world. Right, I, I understand. <laughs> right, correct. You are taking yeah, so L's your idiot. own way. No, nobody yeah. said you're an idiot. You have just chosen <laughs> no, no, to be so fucking hard headed. You see, when you say I'm an idiot, you're taking a victim mentality. No one's insulting you. No, I you, am bro. not. They're telling you idiot the truth. Means someone living in their own world. It's like uh, no. if you think you have a psych. You, 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 you have a psychosis. I, I believe you have a psychosis and a fixation on on people <laughs> you knew. My question is, yes. did you buy the courses of every coach you should talk on YouTube? Did you buy Manufaction? Did you buy RSD Pimp, Tem Game? Did you buy Look Tiger Blueprint? <laughs> Blueprint? You said you should talk to people you know. How well do you know the people you should talk on YouTube? Hustlers I University, know very well. It? No comment about more details, but I do know them very, very, very well. As well as I mentioned, uh, I read all of the Rollo Tomasi's books, which uh, I mentioned earlier. Uh, so no comment about more because then they can look in their database of clients and it becomes messy in that way. So no comment about that is too revealing. But thank you, uh, Irma. You know Michael very well, though? <laughs> yes, Who? Do you know Michael, Michael very well? I even quote, like I, I, I say when... I think I know. I Michael quote him himself, sometimes, but, like, but in a good way, as a peer, not as a, as a guru. So yeah, as a, a dirty, way. manipulating right. peer, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. That's like, what you tell I me. would use that in a title, but I will never say it. Uh, like it's not. <laughs> it oh, I know that you, you say literally do. You say no, no, no. Would, but it's not correct. So I would never say he's a dirty black because I don't know. I cannot judge that. I'm only speaking about the manipulation behavior. So how why do you works. say it? Okay, I so no, but judge why do you call him person. dirty and manipulation tactics? Why do you do it then? Why? The manipulation tactics are dirty. It's not him. No. I never speak. So what are <laughs> the manipulation funny. tactics that might Just to finish it off, and you, you yes. claim on your YouTube channel you help other gurus. What is your positive impact in the world? How many clients did you have? How many ladies have you helped them got? Michael has helped him. I am not a dating coach. I'm not, I'm not into seduction. I'm not a dating coach either. I have just I'm listened not to about three, ladies. three lectures. Yeah. He has helped me fuck like almost 20, 20 chicks. And all these other guys who shit talk, they have helped me in massive, massive ways. The question is... I'm happy for like, you. You can draw your whole interpretation of the word. We can all do that. Interpretations are free. They're not a crime. The question is, when you test your interpretation against the word... What results do they produce? Your, does your formula match reality enough to produce desirable results? And my question is, is basic. It's like, how many clients, how have you helped them? How much money? How that many is not, it's girls, literally status, as, anything. Okay. Perfect. What is your legacy? I will, I will explain something very beautifully. The fact someone builds a tribe and becomes the leader, the confidence of the leader gives the tribe members superiority, serotonin, and confidence to go conquer the world. And therefore, even as placebo, you could be helped, but anyone who seemed super confident and strong, and therefore, to me, that's not a sign of anything. I'm not discrediting what you guys are doing or anything. I am someone who, when people come to, they're like, uh, they see the uniqueness and the amazingness of what I do, and therefore, uh, thank. Yes, you think. You, oh, blah, blah, blah. you're not. You're not. You have you're not discrediting. You're Michael not discrediting Sarkin. what I do. You're not discrediting anything I do. Okay, got it. Yes, I just want to make sure. That Michael, there you go. Mike, Good. thanks for Michael using the picture. And Rollo, and Michael and Rollo, you both have been in this, doing this for like twenty years or so. So no, you're I'm... asking me two months? Why aren't you as big as us? What are your results? No, we're not. Months? We're not. No, no, no. no we're man. not telling you that. It's no, no, forever. No, no, we're, no, we're not no, asking no, you why you're not big. Not we're telling. No, we don't. No, we I don't mean, have. Uh, no, you're. Like you're Brazilian, super confused. Uh, we we're not confused while you're not big. Your content isn't good. Thank we you. Know thank you. I love big. that. That's the presupposition. We, we, no, no, but wait, 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 it's not presupposition. I should no, no, use a pre that. Oh, time out. A presupposition would be me assuming something that isn't true. For you, you make no, no, this no. content that's, and get no that's views. That's a presumption. That's, that's a presumption. Presupposition no, no, no. is an NLP term, which is within <laughs> what's assumed. Here we go. He's, he's gonna he's gonna try to pretend like he knows big well, words. Let's, let's do neuro linguistic programming now. This let's talk about it because we don't know anything about. We can do everything. We can do hypnosis. We can do. The therapy again bro everything. again 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 this is what i'm talking but about but when like, were bro. they when were they i have things that were like a few hours ago released 
so check the lives go to live and you'll see it's not about being big or not but check the lives i have a ton no 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 we're, we're, no no it's 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 not about it social media is fake right now we want to check the lives no bro what you're doing is a failure that is not a presupposition and that is not an ad hoc type ad that. hominem you're, term no no you're creating a reverse preselection or a reverse no, it's, social not, it's not proof. it's not reverse so it's a negative okay. social proof i love that that's very good very good yeah, okay I well since we're, since we're talking about logical fallacies what you've just done is yes. beg the question okay that's circular argument in which the conclusion is included. well if i'm dealing with people who are into fallacies i'm unashamedly willing you to go just for it, said, you awesome, just man. said I can you choose your team picker, bro. so you want to go logical fallacies i'm going to hold you to every fucking one you use no the, the i am saying is like, use all the logical fallacies i am saying use them i encourage people to use them i'm for it so, you're so I'm not against using hey guys for those for those of you in yes, LA, i am for you probably make this a module talking about cognitive bias no we're, further question. We're gonna, we're gonna, I we're gonna use it. we're gonna use we're primal status. Is uh, we're gonna use primal status. This is a great example of cognitive bias. He doesn't see himself as a flat earther, but he's exactly like flat earthers. The thank world, you, thank nothing, you much, nothing sir. is hold on, nothing is true. Things can be interpreted. There is no hard and uh, fast rules. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I should talk to you here. It doesn't mean it later. It was, a, it was but that's not pragmatism. pragmatism. You're a hold on, bro. You're no, the a liar. definition of pragmatism, pragmatism is literally uh, anyway. You're, you're just a liar. You are. You came and you shit talked us on your thing. And now you're I here. And what I thought is what you were going to come on here and say, hey, man, I've changed my mind about you, which I still No, I will be, not. And, and, I love what you're but, doing. Right, I'm a, right, right, but, to, but you I, didn't love what I'm doing. Well. God damn, man. It's so crazy, like watching you. No, no this I'm is such a great you're example. you're a great manipulator in the definition that I say. Of oh course, I God, love what bro. you're doing. Oh, my I God. I encourage it. Crazy, you're worth bro. studying. The only manipulator on this show has been you thus far because you've no just- shit, bro. You You don't elevate my negative. We're all manipulators, I guess, around here. You're all ganging up against me, so I have to- Someone's ganging sorry. up at you. You know what they're Not ganging sorry. up on? They're ganging up on the fact that you have no logical basis of anything you've said for the last half hour. Logic doesn't deal now. with truth. It deals with validity. So sorry to, uh, to tell you that. Logic okay, so, deals so, with validity. So not with logic truth. does not deal with truth. truth. Wait, wait, wait. wait. By, that not. by that definition, your truth supersedes <laughs> the truth. Truth? That's pragmatism. It's what works within your life. No, and that's the philosophy. I said, no, that no, is, okay. look at the that's definition. Okay, look so at hold, the definition on, of pragmatism, wait, not wait, the dictionary wait, wait, or okay, being practical. It doesn't mean being second. practical. It's a that's different an, philosophy. Oh, we're going to call out another logical right. fallacy. False clause, okay? Presuming that a real or perceived relationship between the things that uh, one is the cause of the other. You just did that right now. Thank you, you very much. And you are and a me and Andrew, thank you. I agree fallacy. on the fragmentation. Everything that has come out of your mouth thus far has been nothing but logical fallacies. Every you single do. thing. To now now you're trying to dominate. To this is not logical. This is not the neocortex. By turning it back on the accuser, answering criticism with criticism <laughs> practical <laughs> application yes like i guess bro right and, and 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 hold on you, hold on. you are good. not you are not applying any going. practical application you're not winning and i am things you're not winning at all no you're not no no in no, your no, own no, mind. no no mike mike he is winning he's winning in his own mind because he lives in his own truth and when it. you're a pathological person no, now you're turning you me into a reality a, distortion a bubble and no one is going to take you out of that until someone says no the worst thing you can tell kick, kick. pathological personality. No, 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 no. You no. can tell me no. I say thank you. I, I love no. You're I not love open. no. You are okay, not so, so, to anything. Yes, I am not open because I'm correct. Thinking, dude. You just I'm, I'm, said, you're correct. You just yes. said, dude, that true that logic isn't truth, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, seriously, bro. Logic, you're living in okay, a okay. Dream I will world. explain it. Explain it beautifully. Logic is based on some basic assumptions that are unprovable, and you build upon that in order to have validity. And therefore, if those uh, unprovable uh, assumptions <laughs> are wrong, you're wrong. Bro, where it's did not you about get being right or wrong, from, bro? That is no, this is a truth. It's like the right people know bro. the wrong people want. Dude, so. go, back to, go back to. Are you looking up the answer? Guys, like, just just go back. Guy to is a master's in science, bro. Go back to I have, Michael. I have proposed it in the chat a little time ago to try and make his point about the archetypes and the theory of scientific validity better than him. But I don't know if you are answering questions today or it's just a guest. And I would like to try. People seem to be looking forward to it. No, because they're literally ask, looking really? to attack me. So now I'm being in the line of fire. No, now who's that hominem? Oh, now who's that hominem? Now who's that hominem? Now who's that hominem? Now who's making ad hominem attacks? Dude. Yes, uh, it's mutual. <laughs> it's mutual the relationship. Dude, I've been, I've done nothing but attack your arguments in this entire thing, and you have no counter argument for anything I've said. I countered even every I, single point, so talking, I don't know I what you're talking you, about. Even Although even I have no idea what you're talking about. You have had no right now, you're turning it into a very wrong thing. Why? Okay, how? 
How? How have you countered anything? You have not. Oh, you just said, Holy oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> no, no, Bro, you're losing no, 106 no. to nothing. We countered every no, single no, thing. Uh, and no, no, no one agrees with you. That sounds cool. Bro, no one. Like, but hold on, I love no one the Darth agrees Vader with you. That, uh, no one, but hold on. The, the problem is Gabriel. this, bro. The problem is no one agrees right. with you. And it's not, don't say anything about my tribe. We're on YouTube live streaming too. And by the way, this is a free call. I agree with These aren't my fucking clients. I don't understand what these people are talking about. Good, 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 good. Time out, time out. We got to the, we got to the, we got to the point, guys. He agrees with himself. I'm That's my own point is. of origin. If we, we, I we am, agree. Okay. What is that? Hey, guys, you, ready? You for those of you, hey, right, right, here we go. Guys, no, for those but, of you, no, for those you, of you yeah. can look up in the DSM-5, what's that called? When you are your, the, the point of your own origin and you always agree with yourself. I don't care about the DSM-5. Yeah, there's a cluster, there's a cluster B, there's a cluster B disorder. in this debate as an authority. Oh, really? It's funny. It's funny. Yes, yes, It's funny because you tried to do that when you were talking about binary, uh, binary thing, it was splitting. It was fine. The DSM was fine then, but now the DSM is not fine. Bro, you are a narcissist. You are, you suffer from narcissistic personality disorder. That is what's going on, bro. Ahead, I Raj. worked on it for a long, Raj. long time, so I'm question, happy it succeeded. Because nobody, nobody here is actually attacking you. They're just trying to have a, a reasonable argument with you. But have you? Like, it's not reasonable because they're looking right, for right, anything right, right. in order to create a new narrative. But it's yeah, good. Sure. You're doing the things correctly. All of you, oh, wait, you're just supposed like, to do just this. like how you do with your entire channel is what we're doing to you, right? Yes. So you're doing things correctly. I agree. I'm, I'm okay, having I'm just fun. Just asking a correct. question, bro. Just asking a question. So bro. this is the oh, right way. I'm not against it. Quick question. Like, have you ever like? Like been in an argument and admitted you were wrong ever, like in your life. Yes, I do. And when yeah. we to the scenario, because I, I actually don't believe you. I don't need to explain to you specifically this scenario, but social media. <laughs> no, there are. Uh, absolutely. I don't have to explain to you. Well, because because you're, making, you're making this videos. Is like, this is like arguing people. with a stuffed animal. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you. Or with an alpha male, <laughs> like if you want to define it in that way. But let's go. I'm against the idea of alpha male. But uh, anyway, Raj, do you have anything else to say? Yeah, yeah. To I, me? I just, I, I just. Okay, to so you, I will say uh, thank you very much, Raj, for all your questions. I really appreciate them. I understand your perspective and point of view. I see that the disagreement is the fact that I use inflammatory things in the beginning in order to create a kind of like fun drama situation within the channel but in every single video it's positive and high vibe and therefore uh, i am not that person i don't go say oh look these people are stupid look how he looks there with like john anthony lifestyle i never attack any person uh, personally or say they're very bad people or whatever except maybe john anthony lifestyles i said <laughs> he's only attacking people he doesn't do anything channel, which is nothing but attacking other people Yes, that's the outside. That's the cover of the book. That's the blurb of the book. That's the cover of the book. But Primal, I'm going to have to disagree with you. All right, because I, I know Michael for a few years now. He's like an older brother at this point. And you say yes. that, like you said that, oh, you only make the thumbnails to attack them just to cause drama to get views, I assume, right? But yes, in, yes. The videos, in the videos, you're very... uh. Um, you admire these guys, right? But only no, not possible. admire, but study them. And I will say I would not use admire. It's a studying because they're worth the studying. But only the video with Anton, which I felt <laughs> bad for the guy. I was a bit more uh, aggressive in that way. But other ones, uh, I'm uh, totally neutral and nice. So yeah. no, but I, I don't believe only in neutral because you said. <laughs> Sometimes I make jokes, and, object, but yeah. and objective, and objective, Michael. Totally objective. Uh, I, and I scientific. I don't believe I objectivity exists. I got one final question. I, one final I don't believe so objectivity exists. So. so would you call yourself? Oh, we, be, we believe you believe in objectivity is not would real. You, would you call yourself? Agree with that you believe you that. Call Thank you yourself? so much. I love the uh, presupposition within that. That was. Would good. you call yourself? Well. You're welcome, bro. So I learned it from that. Then correct. I guess this is a I am not an entertainer. No. Okay. Then you just then you just contradict yourself because you said it's a joke. It's the cover of the of the book. I did not say it exactly like that because you remember when I speak like about the archetypes, the I will okay, explain. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But let me explain. Bit. Let me explain. Within the archetypes, the entertainer is the trickster. I am not, I am the uh, similar to you, like the Viking attacking. That is the metaphor that I'm going for rather than the comedian being funny. So I would not use specifically joke. I would say it's the hook or the um, like uh, breaking of the pattern or whatever. So I would use it like that. I see. So you so you do believe in archetypes then? I do. Okay. Not and as a metaphor. So as a metaphor. As, as a, a metaphor. metaphor. Not I as, see. Yes. Okay. Well, then you then you so just as a way to structure so reality. So let's take a look. The innocent, the everyman, 
the hero, the rebel, yes. the explorer, the creator, the ruler, the magician, the lover, the character. Those are not the archetypes the jester, that I speak about, but I know those. I'm familiar with those. Okay. So I'm familiar with those. Those but are that's Jungian not archetypes. I'm... Those are Jungian ar archetypes. Yes, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not sharing Jungian things. It's a, it's a different thing. I'm sharing specifically. You're sharing. Uh, you're more sharing about personal age. branding. No, this is more about Bullshit. personal branding than that. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. We're, well, I'm so, I, I apologize. We're living in your world. That's right. So could you tell? Rolo, us there are Thank you. I love mind. that. Oh, you're missing oh, I'm the sorry, point. Rolo, uh, because I don't belong in your world. I'm sorry that you, you know, want you, me to live in your world rather than living in my own. You know what? That's the first thing you said. I'm sorry you want me to live in your world rather than. Uh, my about, own yes i have to break the, my world in order in to reality, live in yours. Dude. oh i understand in the real world what about is reality reality. like literally you are living <sighs> in your brain's interpretation of reality nobody so you can know no 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 no, 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 no okay. Okay. Like, so, okay so really so these things have answers right you are your sense perception is one of the is the way you perceive things but whether or not i perceive things or don't perceive them does not change reality the earth the moon is two hundred thirty eight thousand miles yes. away from the earth and I if there were no humans on the planet unknowable. if there were no humans on the planet the earth the, the moon would still be two hundred thirty eight thousand miles away from the earth there is a reality that is reality and this is the problem i this love probably this. Thank you. No, no, but, but you can say you love this. Well, you said no. that you love this, but but the problem is you keep going after like red pill and manosphere people, and the the issue is you say not specifically, it's just the people love them. It's because okay, the okay, people cool. love them. But, not, but, but not... you say elevated. So what I need for you is to explain yeah. how are you elevating anyone? Where is the elevation? I see the sure. hate very sure. clearly. See the hate. Thank you. It's Don't see hate. the elevation. It actually, is not. There is no Stop. hate. But, where, okay. where? Show me. Show First, me the way you. Let's elevate speak about people. reality. I will explain to you my perspective, which is different, and it's not I feel or not. That's your perspective. It's not reality, and it's what okay, you feel. Okay, it's pragmatic. Yes. It's pragmatic perspective. So you want some social proof or whatever. So you believe reality can be known and experienced, while pragmatists such as myself believe that all we can know is things that are working for us to get us the results we want, but it, we can never extrapolate that into general relativity truth uh, in general in order to call that science, as you would call it, which is very similar to what Andrew Tate, when he was asked about XQC, he said that specifically, and then he was attacked for it. I believe in that. I cannot change it. I'm not a liar. I will never lie just to sound smart or sound good. I do not believe we can understand fully reality as it is or even fathom it. What we can know is what is working for us and share with others so that they will use it as frameworks to find patterns that work for us, but something in the future can break everything and get us to a next level that proves us wrong. And that's a part of the evolution and the beauty of life. Yes, yeah, so you you're describing- wait, wait, Michael, but can you answer his question? How are you elevated? I choose to answer the other, okay. Uh, say it again, please. Um, he asked you, you, he asked you verbatim, your channel is called Primal Status Elevated. Would you agree? That's the yes. name of your channel. Yes. Okay. yes. How are you elevating anyone with your content? Perfect. Perfect. First, it's not perfect. Uh, said, I'm just repeating what he said. It's not perfect. Yes, yes. I'm just perfect. repeating what he said. It means I have okay. an answer for it. That's what I say when I say perfect. Okay. But you, you so just don't decide first, not to the There is no hate that you would call it in that way because. <laughs> It, it's the uh, okay thank you you're laughing bro it's just the, answer the question man illusion of hate it's the illusion of hate so it, it's a big difference secondarily i am elevating people by giving them the tools for them to know how to practically build their tribe and because they're building no they are the no motherfucker tribe. i am I am. We're <laughs> no, you are doing it. I'm doing I it. Too. Am. I am. You aren't. No, I am. no you aren't. No, I There's am. nothing practical. This is the reason why you're not a pragmatist because what you're doing doesn't fucking work. There's no practical application for your Just shit. Time you are a YouTube right. troll and a time. hater. All I need is time. You are a YouTube troll and a hater. And bro, thank like, you, again, thank I'm not you. trying to say this to be an asshole. I'm really not trying to say this to be an thank asshole. You, thank but you, you look like you you are carrying a little bit of body fat and that's yes, not I elevating am. people's status that's not a good example that's you the criteria you're people. choosing for the elevation no, no, that's one I'm example that's one example minds, that's one is that's the one body, example which that's is temporary one example. And but, by the way but no no one, one more time if you read grain brain by dr perlmutter your bad why should i read affects... there like you have people who are your leaders into the world i understand i am letting the world i'm a first hander as ayn rand and i know everybody will get on me for this rather than a second what? hander you're no, proven no, no. you're most a second of us, most of us, are, most of us read ayn rand while i am a uh, first hand you don't know your so audience hate me hate me hate me no, for a, a again again you, again you're, again <laughs> going back to victimhood this is not a practical no, it's application not victimhood. I love hates it. me hates I me no one said no one said they hate you bro 
you love. Are picking, hate is you're the picking, of, it's you're, both. Hate, you're picking, <laughs> you're picking a victim mentality. Once no, again, I am not. What you're I doing not is not, there is no practical application. You I'm are not helping opposite. people you call me a increasing their How can build it be a narcissist and a victim at the same time? How can no, that's literally how it works. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's exactly what narcissism is. No, no, no. Because I am not a narcissist and that's why I'm not a victim. It's not the same thing. You are a victim and I know my the truth. I know the my truth, the truth that works, the practical my, pragmatic My truth, truth is what narcissists know. say. There is no my truth. There is the truth. OJ did or did not kill Nicole. There is or is not a moon. I, I, don't ask me about OJ. Flat. I'm you unrelated are. to the US. Say, is there a war in Ukraine? Yes or no? I will say yes. Like, things are you that sure? I, know I mean, how do you know? I mean, maybe there I was is there. One. Maybe I told you I was no, there. No, 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 hold, hold. I maybe died. since you left, they all packed it up and it's just fake. You don't know. There's no truth. That truth means Thank more to you, you because it affected your fucking life. But that's the only thing. You don't teach anyone anything practical. Other people are trying to help you. I do. You. I There's actually a, do very much. It's you only not you in your video. I, it's not in the videos about you. Yes. There was nothing practical. Like, okay, good. No so we've been practice. asking you four times. What is something, a practical thing, a specific I thing answered. that you've done to elevate, elevate someone's life? Be specific. How have you elevated anyone's status at all? Tell me. I elevated the status of my followers. What? Who? There's no one. You have first, first off, you have 186 followers. Number one, and number so two, what, those how 186 you, how, how have you? I how, love it. Even you, one person in this world is worth. Okay, the tell whole me, world. how did you care. elevate their status? How did you elevate their status? Go. What did you 100%. do? One hundred percent. I. What did you do? Them. I give them the keys to understand what people are doing to manipulate them so that they will judge the message rather than be enamored with the messenger. For example, that's one of the many things. No, you don't, but you don't because do. no one watches. I'm doing it. I don't. do it. That is not elevating their it. status. Show me one thing that Doesn't you do that elevates, elevates people's them. status. Okay. I show people specifically how to build their tribe so that they're not roaming, belonging to someone else's tribe. No, motherfucker. That's what I do. That's Mike, what can I do. Can we do it differently. Mike, Mike, can I ask a question? I have a question. Okay. Yes. Please. How have you applied this in your life to build your own tribe? Uh, that will be private that? information, but I'm applying it on YouTube in order to build my Of course it will be. Of course it is. Of course it is. Hey, bro. Of course bro, I get more permission to speak. Me, like, uh, bro, 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 first off, first off, homie, I get, I get more death threats in a day than you've got in your entire life. And I live at 45, 25 Dean Martin Drive in Las Vegas, Nevada. And you're welcome to come by. But motherfucker, I don't miss. Okay. I'm not telling for I any am, of you. Don't worry about the fucking death threats bullshit. I am living in I am living as a refugee currently. So if people can mess with me when it's done, I can I don't care about sharing fuck people He's so literally I, people can Brian will guys, may I ask you a question means. yeah go ahead Daxis my friend thank you hello hello I love your will mic you take this razor really cool. no I will not take the it fucking uh, unibrow you. and then come back thank and have this conversation much. well uh, for my own culture that's a very appropriate thing to have and therefore now you're attacking a culture that is not yours and that's hey motherfucker i'm black people attack me every Thank fucking you. day you, you want to try that i'm shit, go born ahead. literally in africa so you, i'm uh, more african than you Thank Daxis, you he, Daxis he, he thinks you don't believe black lives matter that's what he's saying to you right now okay all right, you pissed <laughs> off a Harvard student. Uh, you retired United States Air I'm Force. I'm fine. Captain, I love it. Uh, it. It's it's good with me. So you've convinced yeah. no one of the point. Beautiful. All right, so here's what I, we're gonna do for, for this point on. Because like, listen, got got my anyway, fucking got my blood up. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna start calling on you by your hands. And here's the thing: it's Rolo's birthday. I don't want to ruin Rolo's birthday. Although I think this is pretty funny. Um, uh, well, here's what we're gonna do. You guys, because it's late around here. But okay, ready. So here's much. what we're gonna do. We're gonna ask. You can ask questions to me or Kylie or Rolo or Primal. You guys are, can ask whoever. I'm gonna call on you one on one. Primal, let's keep it to under four paragraphs. Okay, with with the answer. Here we go. Yusuf, what's your question? Yusuf, unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can yeah, go ahead, brother. Brother, yeah, yeah turn I that volume down, please. Okay. Okay. No, I think I'm I think. No, we're getting echo on everything. Bro, you need to either put headphones in or go to mute. Go to mute your audio. Some one of the two. Okay, now. Uh, all right, try it. First of all, thank you uh, for the opportunity and to the AMA group. I love it. You've been having a lot. Um, I had three questions, if you don't mind, if I take too much time. Go. Uh, yeah, uh, first question was about uh, group chatting. Uh, when I have conversations with people, it's usually around with uh, different friends that are uh, females. And the thing is that 
usually what happens is that I go directly into very uh, vulnerable uh, topics, which means uh, vulnerable in the sense that uh, very intimate, too fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which usually happens in uh, group settings, which is not ideal. Okay. Uh, so I ask this in the group, what are the goals or topics that you will talk about usually okay. in- uh, Yusuf, Yusuf let, let me help you with this, ready? You cannot give value until you have value. This is one of the things where people get this wrong, that men need to be more sensitive and share more. S be sensitive and share more when a girl has shown you that she cares about you and want, it's like, understand that there's a level of trust there. Going up to strange women and being like, hey, I'm just really going through this tough stuff in my life. You're just, you're, you're just her buddy now. Like she's a no, 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 attraction no, no. for you. I think I reframed the, the question uh, badly. I act like a psychologist. The thing is that I open people too fast. And it's usually done in a group setting. Is okay. that I don't know how to small talk. That does the thing. Oh, got it, got it. You know, I've, I've had that issue too. Oh, this is really tough. I used to follow this guy around here in Vegas who's really, really socially calibrated. And he would talk to people, these very high status people. In fact, Jason, he was one of the people who introduced me to Jason Strauss. And I was, I try to get as close as I could and I would listen to what his, his conversation was like. Do you know what they were? You want to take a guess? In a uh, club, going up to super high status people, whoever, fucking... Dan Bilzerian, DJ Marshmallow, whoever. What, what do you think the conversation is like? Take a guess. It would be about rumors, for example. <laughs> okay, ready? That's what up, good. bro? Hey, how's the weather? You doing good? Your family good? Oh, that's awesome, man. What else is up with you? That's it, bro. That's all. It's so fucking shallow and it's hard because I'm just like you, man. I have a background in physics. I always wanted to have, when people want to have conversations with me, I want to talk about evolutionary psychology and quantum mechanics. But the reality is, what up, bro? You doing good? Cool. How's your family? When I talk to Bulzerian, I'm like, yeah, what up, bro? You doing good? How's your family? Is everything good? Oh, cool, man. So how's everything with the business? How's everything with the business? Not, hey, I heard that your father took over as CEO for Ignite. So what is the uh, you know market cap of your company? No. What up, bro? You doing good? How's your family? It's simple. This is how a lot of high status people, not all, obviously not all. Like if, if you had a conversation with Elon Musk and you want to talk to him about material physics, I've understood from other people who've gone up to him that actually works out really well. But for some people, for me, you can have a deep conversation. I appreciate those conversations. But for a lot of people, when they're in you know places where they're not really sure where they stand, like if you come to the bunny ball, you come to the Playboy Mansion, if you come to the Playboy Mansion, start talking about psychology, you're going to have one girl kind of look at you funny and then just walk the fuck off. But if you talk to them like, hey, what's up? You having a good time? It seems so superficial to either highly intellectual or very introverted people to say, hey, you having a good time? But that's what you do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you feel cringy. This is how I felt yeah, the in the beginning. That, when I was Michael, is that you talk, uh, the example that you put is in one-on-one -on -one basis. It's not that you, you're with the five or six person group and you're talking to everyone. Like the example that you put is you talk to someone, just that person, and you can open up or just- Hey, you, hey, you guys doing good? Talk. What's up with you guys? Hey, what's up with you guys? You guys doing good? No, it's just plural- it's the same thing. Okay. Now you start with that. Now, Yusuf, someone takes you to the side and be like, hey man, you know, what do you think about this invasion of Ukraine? Now we go to that next level, but wait, you cannot give value until you have value. Does that make sense? What does it mean exactly? Like having okay. value? Right, right. So, so, so consider this situation. A beautiful woman is walking down the street. Okay. And a homeless person comes up to this beautiful woman and is like, Hey, listen, I'm, I'm going yeah, through okay, a really okay, rough okay. time okay. and blah, 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 yeah. all this kind of stuff. And, she, and she's like, Hey, get away from me. Now the same beautiful woman is walking down the street and Leonardo DiCaprio walks up to him and be like, Hey, I'm just having a really rough day, man. It's been really crazy. And she's like, really, Leo, really tell me more. He gave value because he has value. And one of the things that you're trying to do is when you have these deep intellectual conversations, that's many intellectuals feel this way. Their contribution to the world is to give value to their intellect. Do not give value though, until you have value in their eyes. If you don't do that, what happens is you're doing this prematurely. Does that make sense? Just a little you there, bit. Yusuf, Yusuf, here's the other thing. Get them to talk about themselves. This is also very difficult for people who have high intellect or people who think they're in a room full of people that they think are not as intelligent as them. What I do when I, when I first met Kylie, I wanted Kylie to talk more about herself and me to talk less. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. You got it? Okay. So that's the thing. Hyper intellectual people, they want to like hear no, I actually have a problem for, I have a solution for the global uh, financial crisis. Here it is. I'm like, I just met you, motherfucker. Why are you talking to me about this? This is yeah. fucking weird and uncalibrated. So stop doing that. Hey buddy, what's up? You doing good, bro? Cool, man. How about pay? How, you know, how about Messi going to the fucking French? Isn't that dope? 
awesome. Very vague topics, very vague. And it feels so fucking disingenuous the first time you do it, especially as an intellectual. But over time, you're going to understand, no, man, this is just like, you're just kind of like two people nudging each other. You know, like just, just trying to feeling each other out. You know, you don't walk into jail and just start fighting immediately. People kind of like look at each other. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of uh, uh, attributing, oh, is this guy high status? Is this guy high status? You warm up to it. So the way you warm up to it is by small talk. Small talk is as basic and as dumb as you th think it is. And it's dumb. It is dumb. For intellectual people, small talk is super fucking annoying. I know. But getting over that is such a massive, massive way for you to be able to network well. Please read uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And also, please understand that you getting them to talk about themselves is so key. What will happen is, this is so, it's such a weird phenomenon that will happen. You'll talk to somebody, they'll do 90% of the talking, and they'll be like, man, that guy's really interesting. Wait, I didn't say yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You did 90% of the talking. It's a weird psychological effect that happens. Okay? So can you try that? And then come back to us. Could just give me one small tip. Make them talk about one. themselves. And listen, it's just about that. Uh, I do that, and the thing is, I don't know how to connect all the, all the, stop. all the things. That stop trying say. to connect it. Stop, stop trying to connect things. Okay. Go. What no, up, bro? Not me connecting to them. Yo, man, Looking we're having a good time. Them. You having a good time, Yusuf? You having a good time, bro? You having a good time, bro? You want a beer? Cool, man. You doing good, bro? Yeah, that's awesome. I'm doing good too, man. Awesome, man. Stay up, homie. Yeah. Connecting? Shut the fuck up. Stop trying to connect shit. It's not like that in the beginning. In the beginning. Once you have deeper, like, all I do with Rolo now is we send each other evolutionary psychology articles. That's all we do now. But in the beginning, it was like, you doing good? Hey, man, big fan. Read your books. Basic. Dumb. Basic. Small talk. Dumb it down basic you got it okay yeah it's yeah. real hard man most of my clients are not dumb people they're hyper intel uh, hyper intellectual people and those people whenever you get them in small talk situations they're like fuck i don't know how to talk to these people dumb basic basic dumb listen you talk now you talk now and at first it's just it's so cringy but then after a while you understand oh okay now i understand why we're doing this they're they're insecure or maybe not super secure with the situation and i give them the ability to become secure it's almost like lube right just oh i'm not really sure how this fits in there it's and then after a while it's like oh, okay now i understand what's going on okay i feel like i can kind of trust you you seem like you're smart hey how about quantum teleportation what do you think about that do you, you we can go there later but we can't start there okay Okay. Yeah. Got it. Appreciate it. it. Now, yeah. now Yusuf with me, you can with me always, anytime you guys want to talk about geopolitics, history, anything you guys can start. I've had people come up to me all the time, but the thing is when they do it, I know, man, if you were talking to anybody else, they'd be like, dude, you're a fucking weirdo. But with me, it's fine because I, I read, you know, 30, 40, 50 books a year. I love talking about highly intellectual stuff, but I also teach a networking course. And I know that most people are not on your wave link when you want to have deep uh, conversations about psychology. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, there's time for small talk and big talk. I mean, you just, just for right now, you need to focus on just small talk for the next six months. Nothing but small talk. Okay. Hey, Yusuf. If, you, Yusuf, it, Yusuf, anyways, Yusuf if, yeah. if, if it makes you feel really dumb, that means it's working. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's going to feel real awkward and you're going to feel real dumb. That means you're doing it right. And then eventually so you're going to understand. The goal won't be connecting people uh, like what they, what they do or what they think, but just like. It's not, it's not a puzzle. You're just connecting person to person, but like that happens. It's just so just hard. And, let's, and if you've ever seen like two girls be like, oh my God, that's my bitch. They have not had yeah, any yeah. discussion about anything of any substance whatsoever. They just fucking like each other because of their energy, but you can yeah. see they're connected. They're connect. How are they connected? Cause it's nothing but small talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Got it? Max, hey, Mike, yeah. hey, Mike, can I give some advice there? Go ahead, Tristan. Yeah, Yusuf. Okay. It's going to be very random, but I think this will help you. There is a song I want you to listen to and just do what this song says. It's called Big Papa by Biggie Smalls. Follow the verses of that song and just you'll be fine. Okay, I'll try it. Okay, thanks. Can yeah. I interject and just say something to Yusuf? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Uh, it depends on your goal. If you want to enter a tribe that already exists, you have to act in a way that makes you a safe member of the new tribe. But if your goal is to create a new group of people or a new tribe, you have to be more yourself, repulse most people and get the few who will love you to be in love with you. And therefore, it's not about 
you will have to change yourself to belong to new tribes. Well, you have to be more of yourself in order to build the tribe of the right people who you can be authentically yourself more about. So it's a different situation. It's about, I sense a fear of rejection right there. And that's why you care what they will think. And it's stronger to get used and do some rejection therapy in order to not care at all. And then you can choose to either behave in a way that makes you accepted by new people or do the opposite by having so much clarity that 99% of people will think you're crazy and hate you, but 1% bro, will love you. Bro, bro that's, that's not... It. I'm sorry. I'm so, I mean, the first part of your argument is basically trying to overcompensate that I may feel uh, inferior to them. Which is no, already... I did not say inferior. I did not say inferior. Know, I, I did not use those words. Advice is the words. assumption oh, that the second about. part of the answer is actually polarizing, like taking a polarizing answer and being like this myself. And it's if they like it or they don't like it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about connecting people, not about me. I'm yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yusuf, 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 do whatever you want. Just I gave you some advice. All right. Let's go yeah, to the next one, you, man. You, yeah. Got you. Hey, <laughs> I hope to see you soon. Gracia, what's your question? All right. Hello. So just to add something to what Yusuf said, I think that Yusuf, basically what happens is that people don't care enough about you, at least initially, to actually be vulnerable and to be talking about deep stuff for you with you at first. And after some time, when they have enough comfort with you, then, and of course, through that comfort, you showcase enough value, then they start to open up to the possibility of being talking about more deeper stuff with you. Please, that is my Gra I, I think I think they could just be comfortable. You don't even have to show value. Like I have some friends that I enjoy talking yeah. to, and they have no value at all, other than they're they're enjoyable to talk to, and they're really good listeners. It and really that is, is exactly what I'm saying. That's it. And that's that, but exactly that, that saying, is the, the value. being a good listener is the value. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly. But no. Exactly. But that, no matter what it is, you do need to probably start off with small talk. Now, again. When I yeah. go to when I go to when I go to Harvard and I was sitting there with you know uh, there was a professor I know there and, I, and I'm sitting there with Tristan and we're having a conversation. There's very little small yeah. talk. We go right into deep socioeconomic stuff because he's a Harvard professor and Tristan is a is a student at, yeah. at at Harvard and I'm a former U.S. military officer and I was a former counterintelligence officer. So we're going to talk about geopolitical stuff. But for most people in cool social situations, hell no. What up, y'all? Y'all doing good? Awesome. Fist bump. Just try the fist bump. What up, man? Fist bump. Listen, listen, listen. Watch what happens. And then later on, when you guys go to the after party or you're having like, you're having fucking breakfast at 2 a.m., then go into this thing. You know what? Isn't it crazy that we're all hairless murder apes? Evolutionary psychology. Bang. That's fine. But do it then. Don't yeah. give value until they see you having value. Got it? Make sense? Yeah. Beautiful. Ronnie, what's your question? No, uh, I didn't ask my question. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. No problem. Uh, one of the last calls that we had, we had a guy here named Eric Tang talking about yeah. the fact that he was having problems with, with his conversion rate when cold in DMing people. Yeah. And one of the we, uh, one of the issues that I think that he had is that the first picture that he pinned on his Instagram was just like too much when it comes to touching the girls. Uh, and I see comparing his picture with yours, even though he has a killer Instagram, is that the way that you touch girls on your Instagram is not necessarily sexual. It's friendly, but not sexual. And the way that he's touching these girls is too sexual to the point where I put myself in a great position point. of girls when he That's a great point. Uh, sends a cold DM to a girl that he, he has never seen before. And he looks. they look at this picture that he has here that is just like if, as if he was a pimp, not in a good way. It doesn't pass a good trustworthy impression to the girl. To the girl. Yeah. And because of that, that can't have a problem with uh, the conversion rate. That, the person that I learned that from was Corey Che, by the way, your photographer. Yeah. So, so Corey and I talk about this a lot. And this is the concept of they need to be touching you. You're not touching them. Like that's, exactly. that's, and that's, that's where that comes from. So no, that's a really great point. I didn't see that before, but yeah, guys, in your content, whenever there's a, the, if it's possible, you want to show, you want them to show compliance to you, whether it's somebody watching you, listening to you talk, or if it's a girl and they're like up close, they need to have their pelvises torn, turn in towards you. And I would avoid putting your hands anywhere on them in any of your media whatsoever. And you will see exactly. that translates way better. I would highly recommend that if you guys look at my uh, content, my copy, uh, you'll, you'll notice that in every case there's girl, we, we had one where there was this girl and I was leaning over and I was talking to her. I was like, dude, get that out of my video. There's no me leaning over and talking to girls. 
Girls are talking to me or they're touching me. I am not touching girls. And that's the way we do it. And by the way, I would highly recommend that for your content. The second thing is lascivious content is a problem. No booty shaking in the back, mashing titties together. Between attractive and lascivious, we always choose attractive. We never choose lascivious. Lascivious, while it may boost a little bit of pre-selection, it also destroys comfort from women who don't know you. So never, exactly. between attractive and lascivious, we always choose attractive and we wanna show people complying. It's our social media. This is our home. This is our town. In our, in our city, in our social media, we show people complying with us. That's it, because social media is fake. Do people always comply with us? Of course not. You guys ever look at the videos of the parties I go to with Sky Rigdon or whoever makes the videos or, or Corey Telloff? It looks like there's 787 girls and three guys. That's on purpose. It's not, is it real? Of course it's not real, but it's a sign of status because generally higher status parties have more, have a more girl to guy ratio. This is true in the Hamptons. This is true in Brickell. This is true in Abu Dhabi. This is true in Dubai. This is true in fucking, um, this is true in fucking Monaco. This is true in Paris. This is true in London. This is true in Mexico city. This is true in Los Angeles. What like the higher status people they're in places with more beautiful women. If you are uh, sitting and you had box seats and the Super Bowl, you look around, there's a bunch of women there. That's how it works. That's how high status places work. Now it's one of the ways to show high status. It's not the only way, but it's a way to show high status. And the way we do that is again, we show compliance, but what we don't do is we're like, Hey, do you see my girl? I got here. Yeah. Come here. That's the worst thing to do. That destroys comfort. We don't want to show girls groping themselves or us touching girls. We want to show, Hey, girls are here of their own volition. They're having a great time. And they're and, and other girls are like, Hey, that sounds like a great time. I'll come there too. That seems like a, fa a fun place where I can come. And if I want to stay and have a good time, I can. And if I want to leave, no one's going to stop me. Everyone feels free and easy. They can come and go as they please. And everyone at the party has their own agency. That's what's really important that you show. So great point, man. Great point. Yeah, and you. just the final Michael, question. Just, uh, go ahead. I'm, okay. I'm going to go because it seems there is nobody who has questions for me. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me here today. It's very gracious of you. I enjoyed the conversation. Thank you, every single person who interjected and i appreciate your time i wish you a great and fantastic uh, michael day. michael h has a question for you michael go ahead and ask your question yes um i just i'm sorry thank you for for letting me ask my question my question for you was after you deep like listening to all these videos and analyzing all yes. these characters and seeing how they do their part of the social yes. media why didn't you why don't you think, oh, they're doing a good job. Let me just do the same thing they're doing and try to offer value to your subscribers. So, so you you're subscribers. assuming I don't offer value, which means you didn't watch any of the videos, which means I, I understand your assumption. Please watch my most recent live stream, for example, or anything, and you will see how I'm adding value to the community. And thank you so much. I appreciate your but, question. But, but let, me, let me just follow up. So okay. if let's say I'm not really... I'm not really into social media or I'm not really looking at all these people. Yes. You're not really offering much value outside of that. You're just speaking I about am. other people and trying to speak their, their ideas or, or what they're doing. Why don't you just try to make your own that's content? What so that like. that that's, not... that's the, what it seems like, but not what I'm doing. So thank you for asking that. I am doing whatever you feel you're criticizing me for, but it's the, uh, the difference between the uh, appearance and the reality. So the reality is I'm doing what you're saying, but the appearance, I understand, it can cause you to ask that question. So it's very understandable. But when you do the appearance and it's not working, don't you think it's time to, for a change? If that's your opinion, it's not working. There's, there, there's, there's factuals, there's views, there's numbers. That you can go off of. within two months where do you expect me to be <laughs> like literally i have no viral anything and therefore i'm building it with hard work rather than luck so to me it's progressing and that's what we look for in life is that you're constantly progressing and that's what matters so yes comparing myself to yesterday i'm growing and so it's great every single day okay that, that, that's all for me to be honest uh, thank you so much right. uh i appreciate it okay ronnie all right who, who who else? Did anybody else have, have a question for Primal before we let him go? Nobody? Just talk, guys. Unmute yourselves. It's a men of action course. Just grab your nuts and <laughs> I have a, I have a final question for you, Michael. 
Go ahead. Okay, Asiel. for him. Uh, then goodbye, yeah, and, uh, everyone, and bye -bye. thank you. Alrighty. So, what are the things that you would consider when developing a podcast for developing your status where you live? Because this is what I'm doing right now. I'm focusing on producing my own podcast. Yeah. But with the goal of having its content as something that can leverage when I'm cold DMing people for my events. It's so it's so great. So, um, you know, the guys who do the uh, Real Madrid podcast, they're they're in MOA. And we talked, we have this conversation with him. I was like, Hey, I want to, I want to like net leverage this into something else. And I'm like, well, can you talk about other things besides Re Real Madrid? And like, eh, not really. I was like, well, I mean, what about, you know, something that women might be interested in? No, I can't really do that. Just Real Madrid. That's all I'm doing to picking the topic might actually be kind of helpful. Now, if you look at like Lex Friedman, if you look at Joe Rogan or some other people who are really popular, who's interesting that like impulsive wouldn't have on, or I don't know if you guys seen the Steve-O podcast. Like these podcasts, they don't tie themselves down to anything. And I don't either. I, there's an underlying theme of evolutionary psychology in my podcast, but there's nobody I can't interview. There's nobody who I won't talk to. Does that make sense? So that would yeah. be something is like nailing yourself down to one thing can kind of be kind of a problem. Uh, I will say that there's some issues like um, uh, Ryan uh, Ponwall, is that, uh, or Paul Nall, Ponal? I, I never say his fucking name right, from Pillow Talk. He's surrounded by hot women all the time. Why? Because he interviews porn stars. That's what he does. And so that he's he's chosen to do that. But he has a very, very expensive um, studio. And he also lives in Los Angeles. And the production for what he does is quite, quite expensive. So that's, what, that's one thing that you'd have to consider. And he does it all in real life. And he's built himself up to where like every porn star... Uh, in this in in Los Angeles wants to go on a show. Now, is that what you want? That's not necessarily what I want. That's why I don't do a show like his, right? Um, I'm interested in what they have to say, but I don't want to do a show about porn stars. I want to do a show about people in general, right? So yeah. um that's that's a decision that you have to make. So the subject matter is one thing, but as far as like using it for status, subject matter expertise is something that I found. But here's the thing, man. It's so fucking basic and janky. It's uh, a lot of times it's just can you make a viral 60 second clip and put it on IG or TikTok? Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, no jumper. Why is no jumper famous? Anybody remember what made no jumper just explode in popularity? Does anybody remember? Go, go. No, that one girl, what's her name? It was a Selena. What was her name? I forgot what her name was. Alyssa. Selena like Powell. That. Yeah. But Selena Powell had that home girl, her home girl with her. And she goes, Kiki Clout. I suck their dicks. There was like seven guys in the room and I sucked every, all you guys remember that shit. That shit went mega, mega viral, 70, 80 million views. He goes, there's seven guys that came in and I sucked their dicks. And he goes, oh, for real? That, that shit went so viral. It blew up afterward. It was so popular. He gave those girls their own show and all they did was trash African-American men. So they canceled the show. You guys remember this? That's what happened. So it was this one, it's these one or two things, most viral moment ever on Joe Rogan. What is it? What do you guys think? Elon Musk smoking weed. You guys remember that? Tell me, tell me about six other things that happened on that episode. Anything. You can't, bro. Hairless murderers. One more time. One more time, dude. I know, I know it doesn't seem like a really good prescription for our society. The answer is 60. Can you make a 60 second clip that just pops? Because if you do that, that'll, that'll make it happen. That is actually how you're going to use it for status. Okay. Now, the funny thing is, Rolo and I, you know, uh, Access Vegas, we're doing 20, 30K views per episode. That's not huge, but it's crazy how much exposure it gets when we put it on Instagram or on TikTok or on, on Reels or Shorts or Reels or whatever. When we do that, <coughs> it's pretty maddening how now when I try to get girls to come on the show, they're like, I have too many. Before I couldn't get four girls to come on, now I have to cut it at eight. Why? Because the status that it creates, subject matter expertise, exposure, are some girls clout chasing? Maybe, but they get a platform to talk. You know what I'm saying? How is it that fresh and fit after all the whole, like stuff they say about girls on that show, why are there girls lined up 30 deep every three days a week to come on the show? Why? Because status is status is status. And like I said for a million times, a girl does not need to like you to want to sleep with you. She doesn't need to even enjoy your fucking company. She just has to be attracted. And I watch these girls that that Rolo will uh, Rolo that Myron will trash. And right after the show, because I did, remember I did five shows, four shows with them. Right after the show, I watch these girls and they're just following them around like a puppy dog. And he was trashing them the whole show. It's crazy, but it's not because he was an asshole. It's because he stuck to his frame and he has a ton of status. They looked up there and they see hundred dollar super chat, two hundred dollar super chat, five hundred dollar super chat. That's what they saw. And then that created, it's obviously, it's not going to work for every girl, but for some girls, that's what, what that's the way it worked. Does that make sense? Totally, totally. Thank you.
Thank you. It's the really basic monkey brain explanation. That's the that's the correct explanation. Let's go to Ronnie. Ronnie, what's your question? Uh, thanks. Uh, first time being here. Um, so I'm a San Francisco photographer. I do a lot of runway shows. Uh, I'm I kind of want to do some more like a Airbnb type of uh, photo shoots, but I'm not sure how to get like those large. I mean, I've seen some of your photo shoots and they're yeah. like at huge mansions and it, like it looks really sick. So but um, I'm kind of wondering do, how do you set that all that up and get the sponsors and stuff for like. So so you, so you you do that okay? You you do runway shows right? Yeah. Guys who are in MOA, unmute yourselves. Who should he be asking to get those locations? Girls, female friends, models, models. models. See how they all knew the answer. How is that? How is that though? I don't. I don't understand that. Okay, that so the, so you want to get like a free spot, like a mansion, right? To go For shoot. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. The guy who bought the mansion. Did he buy the mansion so that he couldn't be around hot girls or that he could be around more hot girls? What do you think? So like with Airbnb, though, it's, um, you know, forget Airbnb. Okay, we're, sure. we're talking about level one. Remember, there's four levels to getting like a location that's, okay. oh, I'm sorry. You haven't taken MOA. My bad. My bad. Uh, in MOA, let, we're talking about level four right now. Mm -hmm. And if you want a free location, I never pay for locations. Why mm -hmm. do I not pay for locations? Because a girl will come up to me and be like, yo, so-and-so is at this house. And I was like, I was telling him, hey, do you want to have a photo shoot here with like 30, 40 girls? He's like, fuck yeah. You show up. He's not creepy. He caters the whole thing and you get to use his house for the whole day. In fact, mm -hmm. some of the people will even stay at the house. Who are the, again, who would know best which guys are thirsty to have a bunch of girls at their house? Wink, wink, a bunch of girls at their house. Who would be able to give you that information? I mean, I, I assume all men are kind of a little bit on the thirsty side. So if okay, you go cool, to their, cool. their place. No. Who's the one telling you, though? I'm not sure. I'm not following. I'm sorry. We just gave you the answer. You said girls. Yes. Do you understand? Which girl? Kylie, did you, did you, Kylie, did you know? Did you know any dudes back in when you were in uh, Houston that always bought tables and you knew you could just go to their table all the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you now. Now I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Those dudes, th those fucking whales who like want photo shoots at their fucking 16 bedroom mansion. The who do they reach out to? Who are they trying to get at? The same models that you have on your runway. Mm -hmm. Okay. The information comes from the girls. It's yeah, so yeah. hard. So many dudes don't grasp this. You know who's going to introduce you to your next girlfriend? Girls. girls. You know who's going to find you, your next sponsor? Girls. Again, that's one of the problems with this very like somewhat misogynistic woman hate culture in the in the manosphere. Like I like you know when 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 Myron talks about women mm. are useless, I don't think they're useless. Women are fucking great. I love women. Women are incredible for networking. They're unbelievable. If you want to get into a party in the Hamptons, where every like there's like eight or nine billionaires in there. The the ticket to get in the party is girls. Oh my God, bro. Ronnie. <laughs> there's there's hope for you yet, bro. Thank you. That's exactly I appreciate right. it. Got it? Beautiful. Awesome. SB, what's your question? SB, what's your question? Oh, SB, hi, start Michael. talking. Sorry. Uh, my what's going on? phone was um trying to figure out how to use the zoom okay we'll turn your camera on say hi to everybody oh that's okay i'm camera shy okay. Okay, okay so my um my question is about table game so okay. in vegas normally i help my friend get into the club right mm -hmm. yeah and he wants to join a table but lately the person that owns the table who i'm not friends with tells him to pay a tip i'm wondering is this mm -hmm. normal in vegas yeah it is pretty normal pay like a 50 dollar like tip yeah because that guy usually got a comp so it's funny the tables with the most pretty girls in vegas actually uh -huh. are comps they're usually comps there's usually one oh, guy who's okay. a promoter or something and all the girls well, are that's either the, thing. the guy claims that he's not a promoter and yet he goes out every single night so who is the guy uh, oh i can't tell oh, i don't know i don't know the guy you can, you can text me the guy okay table, so yeah, um, yeah. Once. it's it's pretty, it's pretty common to have that happen. Now, does it happen for me? No, because I don't drink. And I'd only stay at tables for like 10, 15 minutes. I don't stay for very long. But if he's going to sit there and drink, yeah, he's probably going to have to tip. If I drank a lot at a table, 100%, I would leave 50 bucks. If him leaving 50 bucks is a problem, he needs to change his occupation. Spending $50 on alcohol in Las Vegas, if that is a problem for you, there's a deeper problem besides some dude asking you for $50. 
Oh, well, okay. I'm just wondering because um, the guy also, the promoter guy also asked for me to tip as well. That's why I'm, because in New York, when I go That's public, absurd. I'm not used to tipping a Yeah, you need, you, need, you need to tell me who this promoter is. Just it's, message me offline. Something, something's wrong there. If he's asking you to tip, something else is going on. Yeah, that's what not I should be asking. As well. Should not be asking girls to tip unless it's unless it's a birthday and it's all girls. Then you would be asking the girls to tip. Yes. Okay, and awesome. how would that's I be me. able to? How would I be able to help my friend to get into tables? Because I'm used to yeah, but why? But why? But that, that, that doesn't that does, because Vegas. because you're you're a girl. You can do that. He's a guy. He doesn't. He has a penis. We don't have any. Value. I don't want him at my table, bro. I don't know who the fuck your dude is. There's no fucking way. If I have my birthday party, keep him away from me. I would t literally tell Rocky, get that motherfucker out of here. Why would I want him any of my table? He needs to develop some value first. What is what is a way he could do that? What's a way he could do? Why do I get invited to everyone's table when I go out on a weekday? Because you bring twenty girls. Well, not, not only that, but what if I don't bring 20 girls? What's another reason why? Well, because you know, know everybody. Because I know everybody. Because yeah. I because on social media, they follow me and they put, they talk, oh, man, that meme you posted was hilarious. Or I watched your last episode. What mm -hmm. value does he provide? Understand for women, you can be a really attractive and you're going to get invited to everything. For men, there's got to be a ticket and the ticket is some kind of value. There's no cheat code. There's no words I can tell him to say. I don't want your guy. I don't know your guy friend. I don't want him at my fucking table. I don't. I want there to be 27 fucking girls and four dudes. That's it. SB, if you, if you like, say if you, you bring your guy friend, but you have like six other female friends, then he'll get in. But yeah. Then, just, then he's good. Then he's good. By just, the way, one other thing. It won't happen because like, I'm sorry, but that's just the way guys, th guys think. We just want all the yeah, girls. One the, we want all the other guys away. One other thing, SB, if you walk up to a club and it's the guy and six girls, he needs to talk to the door guy. If you talk to the door guy, the door guy is going to tell you the six girls can come in and he can't. He needs to be a leader. He needs oh, okay. to be a leader. Okay. Got it? Okay. Is there SB, door people? The is there like a doorman though in Vegas or no? It's just all hosts. Wait, are you not? Yeah, the door guy. Yeah, that's that's what we mean by host. It's it's different for different cities. Like you guys have individual door guys in in uh in New York. We in in Vegas, the guys at the at the door are hosts. They're junior hosts. Oh, okay, got it. Hey, SB, yeah, do me a favor. It seems like there's like a lot of hosts. Uh, SB, do me a favor. I need you to read the book "Very Important People" by Ashley Mears. Okay. Okay, it's going to answer a lot of your questions. Okay. Oh wait, can you say got that it? again? Very, Very important. important people by Dr. Ashley Mears, Boston University. Okay. Got it. That 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 is actually a book about table game. All right. Thank you. Got it. All right. Cool. Andrew, what's your question? Um, I have a question like the about the power of now book. So I yes. read it one time. Uh, I'm having trouble looking at the clock all the time. You're looking at the clock while you're reading the book? No, like. I understood that book one time, so I know like what that means. The clock, like the power now. I'm confused, like, you know bro. How, what are like, you talking about? I think I think he's like, saying that he's not. He's having trouble being present to the moment. He keeps on looking at the yeah, clock. Yeah. So you're talking about the present moment. Yeah. Yeah. Having trouble looking. I was looking at the clock. Like I always exercise and do all the stuff too, and I still like always look at the clock. I'm a little confused about why you keep looking at a clock, but like when you read the book, one of the things you like, it's about present moment awareness. Yeah. I know. So basically you're describing that you're not doing the thing that is described in the book. No, I'm saying that I just like, I understood what it meant in the book, but I'm just having like a hard time. Okay. So it's not understand. You actually have to do it. That's why it's called the men of action course. So here's the thing. If you're having trouble not being able to listen to what's in the book and you look at the clock, go find a cold plunge. All of a sudden, you will become very present very quickly. Oh. Okay? Oh. Another thing, take a rubber band, put it around your wrist, and pop yourself in the fucking wrist with a rubber band. You will all of a sudden become very present very quickly. Oh. Do you notice how people don't have a problem getting distracted whenever they get into a car accident and they're trying to get out of the car? All of a sudden, they're not distracted at all. They know exactly what they're doing. Very focused. Very much in the present moment. Not concerned about answering emails. Concerned about survival. You see how survival can put you into the present moment? Yeah. Let's let's use that as a technique, okay? Okay. Thank you. Beautiful. Daxus, what's your question? Hello. Yeah. My camera not on. No, it's not on, buddy. There you go. All right, okay. So 
I uh, have a question about setting boundaries and it kind of okay. ties in with the thing you're talking about with Fresh and Fit. I don't really like the way that they were talking to the people on Axis Vegas. Um, I agree. But, I, but uh, at all. But ironically, I kind of have the opposite issue. I've always been the nice guy, the beta, whatever. Mm-hmm. Never really been an issue. But when I try to do something, for example, if I invite some people over and I say, yeah, just y'all come over. And then they bring two, three more people. I'm at a, I'll call bunch it like of dudes. a so- bunch of dudes. I'll call it a social crossover, right? There's two yeah. avenues you can go down. Okay. People tell me, and I'm not, I promise you I'm not, but people tell me that I'm an intimidating person. I'm really not. If I try to establish a boundary, draw a line in the sand and said, hey, I said, just you and you. What are him and them doing there? Just do it with a smiling face. Hey man, unfortunately, so what, what I'll do is I'll create a construct. So for instance, there was one time there's this girl, she was coming out to a, a comp table that we had. This was probably three, four years ago. She comes up and tattoos are all, you couldn't see it on her IG, tattoos mm-hmm. all right here on her face, tattoos down her cheek, tattoos right here, top of her boobs are tattooed, tattoos completely covering her body and then piercings all over her body. And I told her, I was like, hey, this is not a comp, but somebody actually bought the table and they're not gonna want you in there, unfortunately. And she was upset at first, but I was honest with her. I told her what the construct was. Same thing with mm-hmm. Bulzarian's parties. I'm like, hey, just want to let you know they're only letting so many girls in and they didn't let you in. Here's the funny thing. Okay, so let's go. Look, first of all, let, let's back up a, a second. I, I, I thought somebody was going to ask me this earlier in the show. Uh, Toy and Myron. I talked to Toy after, you know, Toy got kicked off Access Vegas last Thursday. Toy went there with the intent of calling out Myron, just so we're clear. Toy, his, his her ex-boyfriend is Mike Rashid. Mike Rashid is friends with Myron. And when Toy showed up, which by the way, I love Toy. Toy can come on anytime she wants, but I didn't invite her. Rolo did. When she came on, she was telling Rolo that she's going to kind of like show Myron, you know, what the truth is. She was just going to sit there and be a little bit combative. I don't think she recognized how fast it escalated. I think she maybe was open to the idea that she was going to get kicked off at some point. I just don't think she understood how quickly she triggered Myron. Now, here's the second thing. Um, Access Vegas is paid for. The studio time is paid for by Michael and Rolo. When when fucking uh, Fresh and Fit were there, you notice they opened the show. That was their show. That wasn't my time. If me and Raj or, or me and Tristan, let's say we're on Fresh and Fit in Miami and Myron wants to kick a girl off, me and Raj can't stop Myron from kicking someone off his own show. That was their show. That was their time. It was purchased and paid for by, it wasn't by them. It was somebody else who paid for the time, but it was for them. It was not for Rolo and me. So I couldn't stop them from kicking her off. Does that make sense? And I'm not excusing it because obviously I wouldn't have handled handled it the same way, but Toy did come there as a cruise missile ready to explode. And the next day, I don't know if you guys saw, within 24 hours, she had a response video that was 58 minutes long. And with clips from different stuff, like that wasn't, that some of this was on purpose. Do you guys understand? Pretty meditative. It was a little bit premeditated. Now, I would never have called her or anyone else a dumb hoe on my show. That's something that Myron does. That's not something that I do. So that's where that's where the disconnect is, okay? But Toy and I are cool. We talked about it later. Toy is going to come on Access Vegas again. And here's the crazy part. The girls who got kicked off of Fresh and Fit, like Kay Jenkins or even Toy Hardy, if they ask them to come back on, what do you think, guys? You think they're going to say yes or no? Anyone want to take a guess? Of course, yes. Absolutely. Yep. They're going to say yes. Again, it is your it is your job as a man to protect your friends. It is not your job to save them. Okay. Got it? Okay. Um, uh, if my homegirl is going to get beat up by somebody in a parking lot, it's my job to protect her. If she keeps going back to her fucked up ex, it's not my job to save her. Got it? Okay. Makes I, sense. Um, Bam. Yeah. The um, I think I just don't like when men talk to women like that because they totally. Just kinda... I I I, to- I totally understand. And you know what I wish would happen is afterwards is that there was some kind of consequence for it, and there's none. They just get more views. <laughs> and the other thing, the other thing I want, the other thing I want to point out, Daxis, is that do you understand the point of Access Vegas is to not do that, right? We're not yeah. kicking anyone off our show. Additionally. Yeah. When you see Access Vegas, in order for us to get a, a a fucking audience, I need to go on Fresh and Fit. But don't get it wrong, I love, I actually like Myron a lot. 
but I got, I'm going to go on fresh and fit and I'm going to go on whatever podcast and I'm going to go on pearly things and I'm going to go on purple pill because I need an audience for my show where we don't kick girls off. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. If there was a pickup artist who had a bunch of clients and had a huge following on social media, and I knew that I was better at teaching what he's trying to teach than he was. This has actually happened a couple of times. Guys have had me on their show. And then all of a sudden I like have a ton of their clients. Should I not go on their show or should I go on their show? Go on the show. Yeah. Jesus did not eat with the fucking Pharisees. He ate with the prostitutes and the tax collectors. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's a discussion being had and I have to make a decision. Do I want to be a part of the discussion or not? Do I agree with everything Andrew Tate has said? No, but I want to be part of the discussion. And there's a lot of things that he does that I'm like, man, that is fucking really innovative. That is really innovative what he's doing. So you have to make a decision. Do you want to be a part of the discussion or not? Go ahead. Byron has a a brand to live by. I mean, Michael, you said he does off camera. He's nice to everybody, but like when the camera's on, that's true. He has to put the front on. Super, super fucking nice. And by the way, if if Toy had not done exactly what she had done by calling out Mike Rashid, no one would have got kicked off that day. I pr- no one would have got kicked off. Wasn't even close to anybody getting kicked off. Toy, it, again, you know, when you show up to a when you show up to a fucking convention in riot gear, people are more likely to riot. Okay, when you come charging in there, like I'm not saying Toy did anything wrong. It's just I'm not surprised she got kicked off. Uh, me, Kylie, and Rolo all thought she was going to get kicked off as soon as she, this show started. Okay. okay. And my thing Got is, uh, yeah, my thing is, sorry, I just kind of leads into another question. It's, um, yep. Cause I've always, I'm not that I've always been like the, you know, super greatest host of hosting events or anything, but I DJ parties for, I still DJ, but I DJ parties for five years. Every yep. fight that broke out, anything that got stolen, anyone who was vomiting on the floor, it was always dudes, dudes starting fights, dudes stealing stuff, dudes doing this. So when I, you know, try to be, my thing is always about building comfort with my guests. You know, they come in, give them a house tour. They want water. They want something else. It's it's fine. I can accommodate anything. But it's just, you know, I, I try to make it a distinction. It's like, listen, like, I know you trust these people. I don't know these people. The people that came in to my house that weren't warranted, one was hilariously drunk. The man was six, 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 feet, six foot, six tall, hilariously drunk. Another one brought a knife into a half a million dollar house. One of like eight in a neighborhood. You, you think I'm going to stat? You, you think I'm a physical threat in my own? It's just, it's just that social smooth brainness that a certain fellow that was on here earlier seems to share. It's, it's, but then they might feel like, well, that's my friend or that's my this, that's my that. Why they can't they come in? It's because I don't trust them. It's because I don't trust them. They're not, they haven't been vetted by me. Like when you, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So, so set a boundary. No, you, you're definitely right for setting a boundary there. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing. Well, actually, I didn't even I let them in, but like the whole idea. Yeah, it's, just- it's really like uh, it, it it gets annoying to me. There's these women who like, again, when we when we do a Maxim party or something like that, or a, like a really high status party at Playboy Mansion, the girls who try to bring their boyfriends in and they just they're just met with a very, very harsh reality. And then what mm-hmm. happens after a while is they usually just give up and they're like, oh, the high status men are in the party, not here with me. And they usually leave. And that's if you guys want to read about it's really, really sad story about the playmate who was murdered by her boyfriend with a shotgun. Uh, back, I want to say the 1970s or 80s, if you guys want to look it up. Um, and it, what, what happened is she was, you know, they worked together at like a Denny's or something like that. That's why I always say the Denny's manager, I use that example. Uh, they they decided, she started modeling. She posed for Playboy. She got in Playboy. Uh, he hung around the house and then Hugh Hefner just didn't like him. And then eventually he was banned from the house. And then um, he consistently acted jealous, jealous, jealous. Then she started hanging out with celebrities. Then she started dating a celebrity. Then she broke up with him and he said, don't break up with me. They met one last time and and, and he murdered her. Um, that's that's what happens. So, you know, it's just one of these things where you you just have to understand. Um, you have to you have to come to a realistic understanding. Yeah, Dorothy Strat, that's exactly her name. You have to understand like where, you know, these things happen from a lack of abundance, scarcity. These people think that they're high status and then all of a sudden you put them in a different situation. They're not high status anymore. Uh, that's what happens. We are, you know, fucking apes that we're always searching around the room for status and women are more acute to seeing status than men are. That's another thing. Yeah. They're more, they're far more socially acute than men could ever hope to be men. Just sure. basically, yeah. The only reason that we, we got a bed, dress up, do anything is literally for growth because we're the ones who have to earn. But my thing is, so even say, for example, in the future, right. I'm just going to say I'm a DJ 
and I want to have a small listening party at my house and I invite a few people and then they say, hey, can I bring this person to that person? I swear they're cool. They're fine. And I don't know them and probably never even seen their face before. I'm supposed to take Dax, this, let's make it real quick. Real quick. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We're no more. No other guys. You'll be shocked how many times you say no other guys that the girl initially has pushback. And then her response is, wow. Okay. No other guys. This is actually where the high status men are. I'm going to leave my boyfriend at home. You'd be shocked at how often that happens. Okay. Um, yeah. How do yeah. you vet men to pick to come in? Like, so, so someone running security or Pay someone. For it. Uh, I used to cover charge, bring some alcohol. Uh, what, what my buddy, uh, Ortega, Chris Ortega, his is really simple. You can come if you have 10 girls with you, period. If you can't, if you don't have 10 girls with you, you can't come. Period. Okay. That's how it works. When he shows up with three and the guy's like, Hey man, you have three girls with you. You can't come. Guess what happens? The girls just go in. Is it not strange? Sorry. Is it not strange if I'm just the only male? male? No, Would trust me. Not? That will never happen. If you try to throw a party, do not think this is ever going to happen. If you want a hundred girls to show up to your party, invite 10,000. If you want a hundred guys to show up to your party, invite zero. Dudes are cockroaches. There's going to be guys that will get into your party and you're going to have no idea how they got in. Trust me, Dax, this is not something you need to worry about. You never need to worry. If you have a party with hot girls, you never have to worry about, are there, there's not enough guys here. There's always going to be enough guys. Okay. Okay. And I mean, other than that, what, um, what else would you recommend to just make every, everyone, all my guests just feel comfortable? I mean, you said, you said, you said something really cool. You said, you know, the, um, girls pour the drinks. Guys don't pour the drinks. I agree with yeah, that. 100%. I, I, I'll, like that. I'll tell you a new thing. Put a, put a runway up there and let anyone go walk up and down the runway. That, that is a fucking genius thing. Uh, that, uh, <laughs> that Nino Vin, Vin, Venturella started doing at, um, the bunny ball genius. Lots of photo booths, lots of red carpets, lots of runways. That's what I would do. And then food and beverage. Okay, food, beverage, lots of runway. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, as far as the top of my head, I, yeah, just, I mean, so do you think that, like, honestly, you don't agree with these, these, these people, like their, their viewpoints, but I mean, did it not cross a boundary to you when Who? they were talking to her? Sorry, I forgot. Oh, we're name. talking to Toy? Yeah, of course they did, but but it's not my show. It's not, it's, isn't it your show? No, one more time. Let me say this again. When Michael and Rolo are doing Access Vegas, that time slot is paid for by Michael and Rolo. What you watched okay. was a time slot paid for by Fresh and Fit. Well, it wasn't paid for by them, but it was gifted to them. Okay? okay. Someone paid for that time slot. It was not me. It was not my show. Okay, I understand. I just always see you every every. On it, I just assumed it was your your thing. So of course, of course, and that's that's the way we wanted to brand it because I wanted more more subscribers. It was, and trust me, a lot of people, other people complained, but Toy didn't, and her and I are cool. Okay, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Beautiful, awesome, Gabrielle. Hey, what's Michael? your question? Yeah, hey, can I ask you a follow up? If, if there's Go like ahead, Billy. Okay. So I had a situation recently similar to this guy where I I basically kicked a girl out. Not like, well, not kick her out of a show. Basically, she was very disrespectful and we were at a restaurant and I'm actually dating the, the girl who was help, who was a server. I'm dating her friend. Um, so I, you know, I thought that was pretty disrespectful. So I just want to ask you what I did was passive aggressive, but that's fine. So basically, I just looked at her. I told her, you're never coming with me to this place again. I did. And then, I'm sorry, say again. Keep going. I don't know who said that. And then, and then basically she texted me about being sorry or whatever. And I just messed back. We're good. But then I stopped inviting her to anything we've been doing for the last two, three weeks. Cause I, I was just like, I don't want to have this conversation with her. She crossed the line. She's yeah. still a friend. She's not going to come hang out with me and my other friends. But I also thought like, maybe it's passive aggressive. Maybe I should sit down with her and be like, Hey, you can't talk like that with me anywhere. But at the same time, I was like, well, I don't really care. Like she crossed the line. She's out. Sure. Sure. Okay. So. Do you guys know who who Jimmy Johnson is? He was the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys from 89 to 93. He won two Super Bowls with the Dallas Cowboys. He wrote a book called Swagger. I just finished it. It's not required for MOA, but if you guys want to learn some really cool uh, stories about leadership, I'd recommend you read that book. It's a really good book. And one of the things he talks about, he's like, if a guy who's marginal, barely making the team, falls asleep, one guy named John Roper, he falls asleep. Was a pass rusher. He falls asleep, and it turns out later he had narcolepsy. He was really fucked up. Uh, he cuts him from the team immediately. 
One guy, he was a running back. It was like a preseason game. He fumbles the ball twice. He goes, get your waiver papers. You're off the team. He cuts them. He said, if it was Trey Eggman, who was the quarterback of the team, he'd nudge him. He'd be like, hey, man, start to fucking focus. People get treated differently based on the value they bring. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you. My sales guys, I talk to differently than other people in my company because of the value they bring. Mm -hmm. So if Lindsay Palos started getting mouthy with one of my friends, I'm not going to stop inviting her places. Unless she is super fucking flagrant or says something mean to Kylie, I'm not going to stop inviting her places. Okay? Because she's the quarterback. Mm -hmm. But if this other one is like a backup fucking you know, linebacker who's playing special teams, she gets cut. Yeah. This is not a function of like, this is not, social events are not a display of your personal self-worth. We're just trying to create a tribe. And if you bring value, you get to go into the tribe. If you don't, you don't. And it's more so with men than women. Women, their value can breed, you know, they have a bunch of social media followers or they're actually really fucking smart or they're like Kylie, kindly, who's really fucking funny, right? Or something like that. There's a bunch of different things. Or, you know, like Kylie, she has a knife. She's really good with a knife. She's really good with a Glock too. So just shoot people for you. If that's the case, if that's the case, then they, they bring value. If they don't bring value, then they don't get to come around. But that doesn't mean they're worthless people. It's just like, like hey, man, we're having a party and we're inviting people who have value. Yeah, fair enough. See? Yeah. yeah. And just smile when you say it and don't be mean. It was like, hey, just so you know, like I can't really have parties when you keep inviting guys who don't bring any value to the party. Oh, but no, no, he he has a crypto company and uh, he's going to be in this movie. And I'm like, I really want to record this and like play this back for you when he cheats on you. Like, I really want you to hear this fucking nonsense that you're saying right now. You know, <laughs> it's so great, isn't it? One of my favorite things to talk about is with some of my female friends when it's very obvious their boyfriends are going to cheat on them. And then like afterwards, like looking back, like on the autopsy of the relationship, it's so fun to talk about. I love talking about this. Like how does this cognitive bias exist? I mean, it's very much like uh, primal status elevated. He like lives in this world of cognitive bias where he's never quite wrong. Oh, Michael, you're right. That's a thing. You know, you, I can probably learn some techniques from you to actually make better YouTube videos. You see how he doesn't do that? Mm -hmm. he never considers that. Yeah. Right defensive. Oh, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm more African than you. Like all these little statements that he makes to protect himself because he has to protect himself, right? Because yeah. he lives in his own, he is the center point for his own reality. Narcissism, solipsism, his, his viewpoints are very, are very feminine. They're extremely feminine. His mannerisms are somewhat feminine too. Where does that come from? Probably mommy and daddy telling them that he's special, but he's special because of his beliefs, not because of objective reality. And this is generally what you see with people who believe in numerology or have to like come up with a reason why they they do, they weren't very successful in life. Well, no, I'm successful because in my mind I'm successful. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Right. That seems really helpful. Like if you're doing life in prison, though. I mean, I, I can see that happening. Or if you know you, you're uh, you're you know handicapped, I can see that being helpful. The problem is he has the ability to improve and chooses not to. Yeah. That's where it's really bad. That's where you see the cognitive bias. I'm really glad you guys got to see that because that's what happens in the end. Like he, he doesn't realize he's very close to flat earth, but he doesn't see it. He doesn't see that he's close to flat earth. No one agreed with him, any of his points. And, but it, it, to him, he's still winning, even though no one agreed. And then you saw at the end when we were trying to give advice and he stepped in, he's not an instructor in my program. He's sitting there trying to give advice saying, no, you have to do the thing that 1% of people believe in. 1% of people don't believe what primal status elevated is doing. Not even 1%, not one, one millionth of 1%, because what he's doing is being a hater and he's just wrong. And then comes on here and says, no, but I'm not being a hater. It's just my cover photos. Go watch the videos, guys. He's being a hater the entire time. Like not only is he has to reframe things, he also is just boldly lying in order to get his point across. Where does that come from? It comes from cognitive dissonance and sort of like a protection mechanism that happened to him somewhere because why? He probably didn't make a whole lot of money and he is living refugee staff. Like to, to, for real, like if he's like Tunisian and he lives in Ukraine and had to leave and he's living as a fucking refugee in like Turkey or something like that, that sucks. That's fucking hard. I would probably tell myself stories as well in order to get by at night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's kind of what he did. You know, I, like, I, I feel bad for him. If he legitimately is living as a refugee, that's fucking terrible. That is really hard. But th what he's done then is he's made up stories to sort of like make up for the fact that he's doing that. And if you watch his videos, they become very 
they're very, if you guys watch some of his longer videos, they become very manic. There's these very quick cuts between spots because in his mind, he's very manic as well. And it seems like he's got some sort of disorder that's not being treated. And the way he does it is very often with people who have disorders and don't want to seek treatment. I'm the, I'm the origin of my own mental health. I'm right because I think I'm right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Super weird. I didn't think, I didn't think he had a mental health problem until this, this, this conversation we had now i'm pretty certainly he certainly does his these bouts of mania that's it come off is really really strange cool anything else i know thank you i'm super excited to see the reaction video that he does <laughs> how we, we manipulated him huh you're supposed to yell at billy <laughs> no, I don't Billy, Billy, you're great. Michael, I definitely uh, have That's what I came for. I'm disappointed. I'm fucking disappointed. I mean, you you, you want to you 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 be you want to be really disappointed? Look at the look at the girls Billy's with every week. Then you'll be hey, really hey, fucking hey, disappointed. Hey, hey. Rule number six. Rule number Bill, six no, no, please. Billy is with some fine ass girls every week. Hey, hey, you want to be really disappointed? Look at Billy fucking listened when I yelled at him. And now yeah, Billy is surrounded. I love you, Michael. Billy, I love you. Billy, is, Billy, is, Billy, is, Billy is the Asian dude surrounded by fine ass white women all the time. That's what Billy means. That's what Billy means, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yelling at Billy about nothing. Billy figured no, it out. I love you, Michael. You can yell at me as much as you want. I love you so Hey, Billy, much. Billy, Billy, I got an opportunity for you. Uh, I'm going to do a reality show in a couple of weeks for Paramount, and they want me to bring a student. Would you be open to doing that? I need anything for you. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate it. I mean, because we're going to be in a script club. That's the only thing. If you're cool with that, it's going to be on Paramount UK. If you're cool yeah. with that, because you're because you you happen to be in Vegas, so it might be a little easier for you. Yeah, yeah. We'll, okay. we'll start offline, awesome. but mostly, we'll talk yeah. Later. yeah. By the way, if anyone else is in Vegas and wants to do it, I'll, I'll bring all you guys. They'll let me bring as many as I want. But Billy happens to be here. So, uh, Gabrielle, what's your question? Uh, unmute yourself. Trying to start off. Go ahead. Unmute yourself, Gabrielle. Did he just lose? Gabrielle, thank you. Mike isn't picking up what your words are saying. Yeah, so you're still muted, Gabrielle. And I think maybe the problem with your mic. Yeah, there's a problem with your microphone, Gabrielle. You're saying we can see you talking, but you're, there's nothing. We're not getting any audio. Now I can hear you. No, nothing. Hey, just just try it again. Uh, see if you can like test your mic. Raj, what's your question? Yo. Um. By the way, shout out to Billy again because, uh, Mike. I know I used to ask you a lot of questions, but whenever I have a question, I go to Billy first because he's. Dude, let, let me tell you something, dude. He gives brown people a chance. He gives makes brown people <laughs> like me think I got a shot. Even hey guys, even I can date a hot girl. If Billy, if Billy <laughs> makes me think that I have a shot, bro. Hey now, hey now. Yeah, yeah Billy. Billy, give, <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy hey, he, yeah. hey, listen. What can what can Brown do for you, bro? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like Brown, Billy makes me feel like I got a shot. He's brown. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, a uh, question for Kylie. Uh huh. Kylie, um, how have you been since you broke up with the Machine Gun Kelly? <laughs> yeah, is this a, this is another Megan Fox joke. I get this all the time. I'm I I would never date Machine Gun Kelly. Is he too masculine? No. Babe, do you want me to get in a pink dress like you asked no. me? The other night? No. no. Hey, wait, wait, Kylie. <laughs> Kylie, you would date Primal though, right? No, fuck that guy. I'm really confused by that whole I don't situation. Know. Like, I, I literally can... think that I lost IQ. Like, my IQ level just dropped so much from him. I almost right. started crying. Like, it honestly was – that was hard. Is Liddy here, by the way? No, Liddy left. Liddy left a while ago. Okay, it's I was going to ask her. She's going to go look. She's going to look for some 10 inches. That's what she does for her birthday. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to say, I was going to ask her what NBA players taking her out for uh, her yeah, birthday tonight. for sure. But uh, uh, Mike, uh, just a quick one. I so I have a shorter week this week for my uh, work week because I'm traveling and I'm taking a few days off. But I'm kind of overwhelmed with a lot of work I have, and I don't know if I can get it done before like Wednesday when I'm leaving to a, another state. I'm taking off. I any, literally just had that happen with me in Boston. Yep. Any any I mean it's, that's perfect. So like, what did you do to like uh, make sure you get that fucking work done, even though it's uh, so again midnight to five, no distractions. That's why I go to bed so late. No, but no distractions. The one thing I can't, I don't know how much work you have to get done. What I do know is that you're going to get it done in the most efficient way. If you do one thing at a time. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, bro. Thank you. All right. Uh, Mark, what's your question? Come on. Hey, my question is actually on theme tonight. 
how can you max out your return if you get invited to a very high status place other than photos? I got invited to one of those country clubs where people with NFL owner money go. And I'm wondering how networking is done there with people you have not met before without invading yeah. privacy or looking like a douchebag. No, so, so it's it's it goes back to small talk and listening. Yeah, I got that. And uh, I'm really cognizant of like, I'm coming with no value to these higher status people and I have a limited time to talk to them, so. Um, yeah, well, again, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the same thing. It's just gonna be the same thing over and over again. Like they don't know you, you don't know them. If I don't, I'm not gonna walk up to Jeff Bezos and be like, hey man, I have a great idea on how to fix your algorithm for blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, that's great, man. Get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. But if I was like, hey, man, good to see you, man. And then, like, let's say he's from Houston. Like, how about those Texans? Oh, man, I don't think they're going to do that good this year. Oh, very cool. How's your, you doing good? How's your family? Oh, man, my family's good. Small talk. And then listen. Okay. And what is Kylie's interest with unusual farm animals? I mean, like, yeah. I, I'm mentally giving her the side eye every time I see these things. She wants miniature cows in her apartment or something like that. They don't say miniature. That's why I get them with the side eye. Because they're cute. Have y'all seen the videos? I have a miniature cow. His name is Willie. We do oh. kind of already have a miniature cow. He's, He's sitting on the other cat. side of this computer and he has 23 pounds. It's a cat. He jumped up here. I thought <laughs> he was going to break the table. We already have a cow. Yeah, but I want an actual cow. I want a furry cow. They're cute. <laughs> he won't let me have one. We're I'm going to get one eventually. Y'all wait. I'm going to post it. Y'all all see makes it. sense. You got it. Does that answer your question, Mark. You want to know my obsession with them? I'm from Arkansas, and I Mark, grew up Mark, listen, yeah, Mark, Mark, I, listen, listen. She's, she's, she's telling you. She, she, if, you want, if, you steal her, if you want, if you want to steal her, if you want to steal her from me, just get, get some, me just get some cows. No, I think that interest is weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> all right, cool. Any anything else? I need to knock this out. We've done three hours and twelve minutes. All right, I guess we're good. Michael, what's your question, Michael H? Um, hey, Michael. Uh, one second. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have my my, thing, my app doesn't allow me to, to put all my what's, camera. What's going on, man? Uh, so yeah, I just had a few questions. So uh, I come more from Fresh and Fit, and the Mike, whole it looks mindset. like you muted yourself. Looks like maybe we lost my good H. He may have accidentally. Um... Hello? Yeah, it looks like he probably lost signal. Like we can hear him. Yeah, it looks like it's. Oh. Um, there we go. All right, Michael, try it again. Real Chris Adams, what's your question? Oh, babe, baby. Stop, yeah, stop. Hey, everybody, stop. Stop real quick. Everybody, stop. What? Give me two seconds, guys. Go ahead. Uh, same thing. I, lo I lost audio there for a second. Ask the question again. Yeah, I was just curious if you had any updates on the swimsuit competition form yet. None. It's really fucking disappointing. I have none. They told me it's definitely going to happen, and we're going to have 130,000. It's probably only going to be five events. I don't know anything else. All they're right. gonna they're gonna fuck me, bro. They're, it's gonna be it's gonna be. I have five days to get 100 girls to show up. That's what's gonna end up being. Well, I I got a list. So I know you do. Bro. I know Chris. That's awesome. My question on that. Um, it's six weeks. Is that going to be spread out over like a couple yeah, months? So, so say five weeks, it'll be one in April, one in May, one in June, Ju one in July, one in August. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Awesome. Uh, Chris got your question. Faraz, what's your question? Unmute yourself. Yo. Okay. Cool. Um, I lost audio. I have Stand two by. questions. One more time. Say it again. Two questions. Can you hear me now? Yeah, talk loud. Go ahead. Okay. I have two questions. So first one was uh, when you guys were talking about fresh and fit, right? And uh -huh. the whole situation. Um, and then you said, you know, these girls still want Myron and all that. It's like, is that like the type of girl you want to attract though? Because I feel like that behavior attracts a certain type of girl. Um, I think, well, I mean, girls go through different phases. Um, I don't, I'm not saying that every girl would be like that, but a lot of girls go through a phase where they like the guy who doesn't like them. Um, 
you know, that's, that's just something you go, I'm not talking about toys specifically. But you heard Toy in the in a response video said that Myron's actually very handsome in the video <laughs> the next day. She said that for us. Like I wouldn't, one of the things you need to be careful of, and a lot of people make this mistake is they start thinking that there's these ho girls and then there's these good girls. And it's just not the case. We all have the same firmware. It has to do with stimulus. And it also has to do with history. There's like a psychological makeup that happens. Um, yeah, this idea that like, well, these are good girls and these are bad girls. You're going to find out that when you meet your dream girl, she had some bad moments too. Yeah, I feel like um, I'm at that point where I'm kind of scared of having a girl who would want to chase me because I'm not giving her enough attention. Because I'm like, okay, I have to play that game to keep her attracted. You, 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 don't, you don't have to play any game. Start a business. Go to the gym. Do things with your time. Become scarce. You don't have to play any fucking game. Actually be a scarce man. Okay. Can so you be exceptional I'm... and be scarce with your time? Then they'll they'll have to chase. Don't play a game. Yeah. It's real. Make it real. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh so Dude, okay. free selection. Just get more photos yeah. with girls. I have people hit me up now saying, What are you doing on this day? Random girls I've been out with. It's a snowball effect. It didn't happen two months after I started. No, three, four months. It's like eight months in now. I started promoting in November for Boston. And now I'm doing like containers every other week. Dope. Okay. I see what you guys are saying. Okay. Um, second question is regarding Jocko. So I listen to a lot of his podcasts. And you know how he says like, oh, play the game and like be fake. Like, you know, play, play the game. Like, don't be fake. But, like, there's, there's a line between being authentic and playing the game. Yeah. Like, where is your, where is your personal line on that? Uh, it depends like, on... Do I play the game so, or be so, authentic? So, what's real is when I'm with you guys and with the people that are in circle one. I don't know. Uh, Faraz, are you, you're in MOA? Yeah. Yes or no? I can't hear you. Yeah, Okay. So you remember the thing about circles, circle one are the people that I'm closest to circle two are people I like, but I don't, they don't know everything about me. Circle three are people I'm neutral towards. I just don't know enough about them. Circle four are people that I, I want to avoid, but I have to have them in my life and circle of five are people that I actually avoid. Remember that? Yep. Yeah. So I just, they're just in, they're just in different circles. What was the original question? Like where's the line between you being authentic yeah. and you so the people the in circle, the people in circle one and two, I'm real with them. Everyone else, I don't have to be real because they're not real. So at what okay. point are you playing the game? Like, let me ask you something. Uh, after reading Bulzarian's book, I think a lot of guys that go through SEAL training are on steroids, a lot of them. So at what point are you playing the game? At what point are you being authentic? Do you think Jack will have steroids too? I don't, know if, I don't know if he took steroids. I don't know. But let, you should, yeah. I want someone to ask him, is it true that any guys going through buds ever took steroids? And, and then see what he says. Might be interesting. But I'll tell you one thing. As a citizen of the United States, you know who I want taking steroids? Fucking Navy SEALs. I want them taking steroids. There's no way Jack goes on steroids. The dude gets five hours of sleep trains twice a day. There's there's no way at that age he doesn't take steroids. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I'm I don't know. I'm not saying Jack goes on steroids. That's definitely not what I'm saying. <clears throat> what I'm saying is if you someone should ask him, do, do you think any of them take steroids? So okay, back to the original question. So let's just say the level one and two that you're real with and authentic with. Do you sometimes play a game with them because you just have to? What do you mean play a game? I don't like, understand. you know, you're, um, you're being upfront. You're being authentic. You're being real. No, no, you're okay, telling listen, them straight up. It's not up about upfront and authentic. This is a game, but I'm being authentic. If you do, if you're a, an employee of mine and you do good work, I reward you. If you don't do good work, I, I don't punish you, but I don't reward you. I withhold reward. Is that a game? A hundred percent it's a game and it's authentic. Remember mm. we talked about this reward, good behavior and punish bad behavior. That's me being authentic. Why? Because I'm a high status man who has boundaries. Hypothetically. I'll give you, I'll give you like a scenario for, okay. for example, let's just say you don't like this. This person is like someone you don't like because okay. they're not, they don't have full integrity or they don't have your back. Sounds good. Um, and they're level one and two. You just get rid of them. I I don't I don't waste my time talking to them. I like think about it. Like, what would Wes Watson do in that situation? Just avoid them. 
What would Brad Lee do in that situation? Unless he can make money from him, avoid him. But what if you're stuck with this person because let's just say you guys work together? I mean, I would, I would try, I would try, guys, I got to be off in 10 minutes, FYI. Um, I would try to av avoid that person. And if not, then I would try to have non-passive aggressive conversations with them. If, if you could see that this person is so immature, this is, it, to me, it sounds like maybe a cousin or a coworker or something like that. In those, in those type of situations, then you just tell them whatever you need to get by. If it's a situation where up top doesn't recognize the inefficiencies of this person or that this person is duplicitous, then you need to find a different job. Right. Okay. You know got it. I got the answer. Yeah. Got it. Become the change you want to see in other people. Fasado, guys, I got 10 minutes. Fast. What's your question? What's up? Um, yeah. Thanks for the first two hours of the call. It was a wild ride. Um, I wonder, like, what are your conclusions? You reached out beforehand uh, about like this being a good idea or like some thoughts, how to go about these like people with hit pieces and stuff. So, what uh, um, you have any conclusions? Oh, no, I, I wanted you guys to see someone who's just like living in a sort of a delusional bias so that you can identify it for yourself. Like, that's the only reason we did this. He's not going to get any subscribers from it. Um, he's living in a fucking fantasy world. As far as the hit pieces, no, I don't think it helps at all. I don't, you don't ever see me making hit pieces. And I have, I, I actually could. I could go after every single fucking pickup artist and be like, and just dunk on them. Could I not? Tell me, tell me who, tell me who, who's doing what I do. You name them. I'm waiting. No, I could dunk on all of them, but I don't because I'm not going to do fucking hit pieces. Like when, the, when J Mold starts talking about, oh, this girl, this PUA, this PUA and his girlfriend's ugly. You know what? He's right. A lot of them are, but like, that's not, I'm never going to do that because that's not a way to grow. That's not a way to grow. Does that make sense? There's yeah, no way yeah. to grow from, you can't build a business off hatred. Yeah, sure. It was geared towards like after, after like now that the, the debate has ended. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on like um, how this went and how you would probably go about it in the future? Like, yeah, I, I would do the same thing. I got I got fucking geared up. You guys were very entertained. A lot of people were entertained. The, the fucking stream popped. We were up to like 200 people watching us in the stream at one time, which for my little ass channel is pretty good. Um, I was excited. There was a lot of comments. It was exactly what I wanted. Really good. And it also allowed me to display some truths. And you guys could you could choose yeah. what which whose life do you want his or mine like that's the thing you could you, you could make the decision on do you want my client's life or do you want his life why oh, here's the other thing you should ask yourself this question why should he ever improve because his his fucking litmus for his status is his own mind he gets to choose what his status is on a daily basis in his own mind. So why should he ever go to the gym? He can just choose in his mind to say he's high status. Now, is the world going to reflect that? No. But again, he's if he's literally like living as a refugee, maybe this is the way he has to cope. You sure. know what I'm saying? I didn't realize the refugees part of it. Yeah, it was very interesting to see that. But um, so you would do this again, like just in 100%. The, I, in fact, I, I, there's no one I want people. To so, so one of the one of the differences yeah. between like me and a, like say Neil deGrasse Tyson, Neil deGrasse Tyson wants to educate. He doesn't want to debate. Debating is actually a different skill set, and I think I'm good at it. So I like to debate. That wasn't a debate because there's no like there was. And this, by the way, this is what's going to happen with the dude on um the 26th, the the numerologist and astrologist. We're not going to really be able to debate because anytime I he's going to well, watch for this guy's bing like make a little bingo card. Somebody should make a bingo card for this guy. He's going to say, we don't really know anything and nothing is real. That's how you could, that's the only way you can excuse astrology is to say nothing's real. See what I'm saying? He said, yeah. logic is not based in facts. He said that on my show. So I wanted you guys to see that also like how he consistently thanks everyone. And then he says, this is great when he's getting fucking roasted. Why does he do that? Because in his mind, he's gotten to the point where he's he can just reframe anything in his mind, which is, by the way, reframing things, like when you get fired, reframing it as, hey, this is a new opportunity, that's helpful. Reframing every single thing you do all the time is a psychosis. Okay? Yeah, I think At some point, you actually are broken fat, and you need to do something about it. It's not time to reframe. Got it? Yeah, there were, there were a lot of similarities, and then at some point, you just like... One one guy talks, the other one guy talks, and then you ask yourself, like, this is like none of us are going anywhere with this. 
Yeah, like, but I but I, I loved why I did this. Honestly, I did this for Raj and Tristan. I just wanted to see the look on their face. It's just I wanted to see those two go at it with him. I mean, there's still the slight possibility that you fabricated a fake YouTube account and hired a paid ad actor mm -hmm. as a birthday um, prank for Rolo. That's hilarious. That's my uh, suspicion. Unfortunately, still. this guy's been doing this for a couple yeah. of months. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. All right, man. <laughs> Sound good? I need to get to these real quick. Viet Fong? Yes. Uh, so uh, what's up, Michael? What's going on? Uh, yeah. Uh, how are you doing? So I have two questions for you. Uh, first, do you have any tip for networking in a tech industry? Because uh, on one call, you said that a lot of things in MOA will be hard to implement in a third world country. Yeah. Uh, well, it is kind of difficult to do it, but I think it actually, okay, what's difficult is like some of the bigger events that you throw, but Vietnam is like, you guys have internet and running water. It's not like not that bad. And you also do have uh, tech industry there. So I think you also have a tourism industry there. There is a middle class, some, not a huge, there's a middle class in Vietnam. Um, I think what you could do, um, I definitely think Vietnam would be classified as a third world country, but I think there is, there are pockets of affluence there. Uh, if you were in that part, same thing with Singapore, same thing with, you know, Thailand. Um, if, if what I would do in that situation is just use the same techniques. I would probably like say, fix your Instagram you know, become a more interesting person. The The concepts of status are the same at Vietnam as they are in the United States. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff that you could do there. If you want to take the program and you live in Vietnam, I mean, the thing is, it, we have clients that are in India. We have clients that are in China. It's possible to do it. If you really want to do it, you can definitely pull it off. Yes, no argue. So uh, the second question, I have uh, two locations. One that is in the uh, best in the nightlife industry, but somewhat average in the tech scenes. And uh, the other the other one is next to the biggest tech uh, industry in the country, yeah. like a uh, Google, Facebook, Sony, you name it. Uh, bus is in like in the middle of nowhere and take like a one hour up drive to reach the uh, first one. So uh, where do you think I should stay to grow myself to a point that I can uh, afford MOA? Yeah, Viet. So my first thing is, uh, don't worry about affording MOA. I would take the first four steps. I would do the first four steps in the program first before you even worry about driving an hour to go to some venue. Uh, can anybody tell that I grew up around Vietnamese people when I was in uh, in Dallas? Uh, yeah. Uh, so that that that's one thing. Also in um in when I was in the military. Uh, so yeah, no, that's what I would do. Just do the first four steps. Viet, will you do that and just come back on and then ask me some questions about it? Just do the first four steps. Yes. Okay. I understand. Okay. Thanks. Love it, man. Uh, Joel. Hey, what's Real up? Fast. It's, uh, it's Joel. Uh, it's oh, what's all right. going on? I'm, I'm all right. So basically like three questions. One, how honest is too honest? I was in a relationship and I don't know. Like, I know I definitely said some things to hurt her feelings. I know feelings are important to her, but like, I don't know what I did. So I just, I'm trying to think and reevaluate. Yeah, um, there, so there, is, there, is, there is this sort of mesh point that happens where it's like one of these things where you're literally just being honest and that she just wants to be heard. And in doing so, where you just listen to her, you're literally leaving, you're omitting the truth. And from your standpoint, you're lying to her. And she, but from her standpoint, like she feels so much better because you just listened and like absconded with the truth. But the problem is what, what, what happens 20, 30 years down the line, you resent each other. That's the problem. And so yeah. it's very difficult because a lot of times, especially with really attractive women, they're not used to constructive criticism. And so when you give it to them, they take it very personal and they, they go into like a victim mentality. Oh, well, I can't do anything right. No, that's not what I said. What I said is it would be more efficient when we're doing this to do this for our taxes, for our okay. business, for whatever. And it just becomes very difficult because again, when you're in a relationship, you guys are a team. You're supposed to be, you know, chairman and CEO of the company and you're supposed to be able to give each other, you know, critical advice. It was an issue that I had with my mother. I could never give my mother critical constructive criticism or she would take it as very, very personal attack. Oh, right. I can't do anything right, Michael. And I'm like, what do I do now? Like, I don't know what to do. The problem still exists because we can't do that. So how honest is too honest? It kind of depends on how far you are in the relationship. And it also depends on how far the girl is in her own feelings. If it's okay. a situation like if you're dating a girl who's an attorney or a scientist, you're probably not going to have that big of a problem. If you're dating a girl who is, you know, living in a place or doing a job where she does not deal with a great amount of consequences, uh, you know, or repercussions, meaning a huge model or a girl who's a trust fund baby, that's yeah. going to be an issue where you're going to like tell her the truth and she's just not going to want to hear it. One of the funny things is though, 
some of the girls that I've told some of the most offensive truths to, and I don't say it in an offensive way, they tend to, to want to be my friends okay. or become attracted saying, to me because nobody so, else will do that. Second question is, I'm good at small talk, but I'm bad at like long talk and I guess- Books, like, books, Joel, books. We're, yeah. Get on the book list. The we'll book do. list. Trust me, book list. You okay, can talk about astronomy and, and evolutionary psychology till you're fucking blue in the face. Books. The answer is <laughs> books. Got you. And then third is- I guess it's, it's probably just books too. Like, how do you not give a fuck about what other people think? It has to be books, right? Yeah, no, it's not books. It's abundance. Uh, rule number three in MOA is abundance. So one of the things is like, when I play, when I haven't hit 10 shots in a row, I just think about a game where I hit 10 shots in a row. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Like, you can remember these accomplishments. This is really interesting. Um, I had somebody hit me up yesterday and they're like, Michael, I've lost my confidence. I want you guys to think about this is confidence. And what happens when you're a little kid, you walk up to strangers and you have no problem doing so because you just have ex exposed confidence. What happens is as you get older and you start comparing, this guy's taller than me, this guy's girlfriend's hotter than mine, this guy has a Lamborghini, this guy has more status, this guy has more followers, the, all that, whatever that is, it, that judgment sits on top of your confidence and you become less confident over time, okay? That's yeah. essentially what happens. So gaining confidence is just removing whatever it is that stifles you. You, you still with me? Yeah. I am. What was the original question? Well, so I I'll make sure I get this right. No, you got it. It was right. Um, and then also Rallo kind of put me onto this. So shout out to Rallo. And then. Yeah. But, but, like, but again, so, so here's like five techniques. Number one, uh, something physical in the gym. So get good at shooting free throws, get th good at throwing axes, get good at putting up a, a, a whatever, get th good at throwing a football, get good at something physical, a physical thing that you can do that most people can't do. Okay. That's the first thing. Number two, a level of gratitude for your situation. Number three, remember things that you did previously that were huge accomplishments. Number okay. four, present moment awareness, like we talk about in the, in the power of now. Right. And I forgot what the fifth one is. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. But I was, just, I was just answering this before. But actually okay. going out and accomplishing a thing and then taking inventory of previous accomplishments is a great way to get into that winning mindset. Joel, if you really want to understand how this works, there's a book called The Winner Effect. Winner Effect. Look that book up. Okay? Uh, yep. Thank you. Beautiful. Michael H., what's the question? And James, you're the last person. What's the question, Michael? Um. Hey, hey, Michael. So I just had, uh, I just had a few questions. One of them is, how do I? So I'm, I'm tall. I'm like six two, and I'm big. I go to the gym. How do I not come off intimidating to other people? When smile. I'm to start the the a answer is to smile. Yeah, the answer is to smile. I'm six two, two thirty. Smile a lot. Hey, what's going on? I walk through clubs sometimes, and I realize that when I bump into people, it's actually a tremendous. It's a, it's a large amount of force. I was a linebacker. I accidentally don't even recognize. Sometimes I'm moving kind of fast and boom. And they just, I dislodge people. And that, that can come off as, and then I dislodge them. And then I have an angry look on my face. I dislodge somebody and I go, it's fighting time. Hey, oh, I'm so sorry, man. Excuse me, brother. When you're big and strong like that, if you're overly polite, it works really well. Got it? I mean, I can see like from the picture on your, your avatar, you just kind of maybe have a face with a big old beard where you just don't look happy all the time. You need to like fake it to where you look really fucking happy. Does that make sense? Michael? Michael's muted. Okay. Michael's having some trouble with his phone. All right, here Hello. we go. James Hallman, what's your question? One? Hey, real quick, Mike. Uh, you probably answered this a million times. But what do you think about the uh, the blue check mark? Is that something we should get? The what? The blue check mark on IG, since everybody can get yeah, it. Yeah, uh, I have the opposite of viewpoint that a lot of people have. I think that nothing but scam artists were getting it recently. And the fact that you can actually pay for it, where, where it's actually used for legit verification is a good thing. Uh, I hear all these people like, oh, this is terrible. I can't work with these photographers because I don't know who's legit. And the girl who's saying this literally bought her fucking followers. It's absurd. It's fucking ridiculous. No, the blue check mark was a, it was a status symbol and it should never have been a status symbol. It's verification. So verify people's identity. That's what it should be used for. If you want to come something with something else for status, then come up with something else for status. But it's never going to work because IG as of right now can't even tell when you bought fake followers. So I, I'm 100% in favor of what they're doing. I think it's a great idea. I think it is. Cool. As someone who had multiple articles written about me, and literally had people using my identity to get women to come to locations so that they could possibly traffic them or sexually assault them. I should, I deserve to have a blue check mark way more than these fucking Forex traders. And I didn't have one. The system was broken. And now to me, is the system not broken? What they've done, instead of elevating certain people to the blue check mark, they just lowered the value of the blue check mark. And I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter to me. But the whole thing was absurd to begin with. Got it? Got it.
All right, man. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Those in, or tomorrow. Uh, those of you guys in MOA. Guys, join MOA. I'll see you guys soon. Hold on. One last thing. If you guys have not already done this, um, let me... For those of you uh, who are, hey, put a one in the chat if you're not in Men of Action right now. You're not in Men of Action. Put a one in the chat. Nice. John Henley's not in Men of Action. That's awesome. Beautiful. James Holman. There we go. I love this. All right, guys. Please click that link right there. Oh, those of you who want to put your affiliate code, you can. You guys can also put in, uh, elevate your primal status here. Hilarious. Uh, there's the affiliate code, guys. Click it, set up a call. You don't have to join if you don't want to join. Guys, we're still going to do these free calls every other week. We still have the free uh, school server where we put a ton of value in there. Everything we do is scheduled, including the podcast, including all the live streams, including all the interviews that I do on other people's channels, and including this Monday call. There's a ton of free value we're going to give you. We want you to stay in our group, in our tribe, even if you don't join MOA. But when you're ready to, the investment Listen, I'm not going to tell you the investment's worth it. Ask one of, there's 200 people you can ask. Ask one of them. Don't join MOA until you talk to someone in MOA and ask them if it's worth it, okay? Don't join. I want you to be a skeptic, okay?